This is a HeadGum Podcast. This week on the program, it all ends here for now. It's Return of the Jedi. I'm Andrew Jupin. Steven Sadak. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. And we love movies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the program. Thank you for tuning in. As always, uh, like I said up top, it's Return of the Jedi uh, from 1983, directed by the late Richard Marquand. Um, can I stop you there? It's actually Star Wars Episode <laughs> 6, colon, Return of the Jedi. So. Oh, oh, that's right. And uh, you can find my apology. Let me just bend over really quick. It's oh. buried in my <laughs> asshole. Oh, it's uh-huh. in bent over and you showed me. <laughs> it's in your colon. <laughs> that's the colon in between the episode and the... Anyway, you know uh, this uh, colon kind of looks like the hole in the meteorite where uh, Han and Leia got stuck. Uh, I'm going to be suing you, sir. Uh, you're sued now. You're talking about Empire Strikes Back, which, by the way, we just dropped an episode there on the Patreon feed. You can. This is our third. We've we've done. We love movies on Star Wars, on Empire Strikes Back, which, and now this is the final Return of the Jedi. So, if you're not a patron. Um, you are six hours behind this conversation <laughs> yes, because true. our episode on Star Wars 77 is two hours and 51 minutes, I think, and our episode on Empire Strikes Back is two hours and 54 minutes. Yes. Good God, we can just fucking flap these gums, yeah. huh? We'll and this is actually, sadly, the this. longest of these movies, so Lord knows what this will wind up being. <laughs> No, this one is like at least what I watched was like two fourteen, and Empire was two sixteen. Oh, is it really? I think yeah. Oh, yeah, that I'm way wrong. I don't. Maybe the cuts are different. Maybe oh, uh, fuck. George just took five minutes out of the movie. I just snipped some <laughs> random stuff, you know, trying to guess what I cut. How else would you know that Bantha's fucking a hurt? <laughs> How else would you know if not for me and my genius? You're welcome. By the way, quickly speaking of Star Wars, we, we're also doing The Mandalorian. We recapped every episode. Uh, we, You know, I'm saying we already done that for the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But we are recapping yes. every single episode on Patreon. And we're having a lot of fun over there. Yeah, so thanks to everybody for being a patron and also yes. for listening to the show. So yes. and also you you main feeders. Yeah, this is our the kind of the ninth the end of the ninth season here. Or not the, the, the end of the ninth year we've been doing this. Kind end of, of the ninth year, yeah. yeah, 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 crazy. yeah. November twenty ten. Wow, crazy. what an innocent time that was, comparatively speaking. It's true. <laughs> now there's fucking Star Wars going on in real life. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so I, this is, I think, my favorite scroll because it kind of just cuts through the BS and it's <laughs> just like, hey, listen, man, Luke Skywalker said, fuck it. He's going back to Tatooine to save his buddy. Uh, and also, like, there's a new Death Star. So fuck you. I guess we'll get to that at some point. <laughs> They're just remaking the first movie. <laughs> yeah, what did fucking Starlog have to say oh, about I'm that? Oh, I'm sure they were upset about that. <laughs> I read that this Death Star is, what, like 400% bigger than the original Death Star? Is so that right? The I'd... only problem, no, the exhaust thing was fine. The problem was it was too small. Get it bigger. <laughs> Now they can fly a fucking ship through the thing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good. Could point. drive a truck through it. Honk, honk. <laughs> Look, the first one was mostly a bakery. This one has to take up less room within it. Maybe just a quarter. I you would- can drive a falcon through that <laughs> exhaust hole. Listen, I want. Two swimming pools. That's right. <laughs> Look, we didn't do it right the first time. I'm making my dream Death Star now. Yeah. Let it's me the ask last you Death this. Star I'm ever going to live in. If we don't have two pools, how are we going to attract the babes? <laughs> you know, I heard the Saudis have these uh, hills, snow hills that you can ski down inside. Inside. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love I want the notion my- that the emperor is up <laughs> on the uh, extracurricular activities of Saudi. Saudi Arabia? <laughs> the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> oh, they're still alive in this universe. Oh, for sure. Oh, my God. But that's a good point. There should be like a biodome level of like, you know. Oh, you sure. You just have vegetation. You grow stuff in there. Like maybe like Silent Running, that classic. Oh, Brewster yes. Film. Speaking of droids, dude, he's yeah. fucking talking all sorts of little bleep bloops in who, that movie. Who picked out the, uh, like, so here's the thing. I, I get it. You guys 
we're making a new de- Death Star. Why would you do it off this forest moon of Endor full of little bear people? Do they know that the Ewoks are farting around there? I think they're killing Ewoks daily. Yeah. Like, to See, install all of that shit, yeah, they yeah. had to, like, it's, just wipe out that, a bunch of, that, like, forest parts. That would make sense. But, like, when the troopers first see them, they're like, what? <laughs> yeah. The fuck? I mean, you've been here for, like, yeah. a couple weeks. Well, maybe least. it was a shift change, Cabin. Oh, yeah. Oh, the same man sweating <laughs> down there. Sure. Great points. New, rec- new recruits being sent over there. But uh, the, I guess the force moon of Endor comes into play in this movie because of the shield generator yeah. so that this Death Star has a shield? Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. That's in the movie. But, like... <clears throat> I guess that means then, if they want to keep that shield up, they can't fucking pull away from Endor. Yeah, I mean, I guess now that, we're stuck here. I think that might be a thing where it's like, listen, it's not built yet. There's going right. to be a Whilst shield on generator the- on the Death Star, but we need a little. Oh. We also need a place to put our hats, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great point because it's still under construction, and it fucking looks great. I love yes. seeing the different decks not built yet. There's it's a good just- ramada <laughs> over on Endor. I was thinking though, just rewatching it this morning, like, what a weird way to construct it, though. Like, it does yeah. look cool, but like when you w- watch it for the first time, you're like, oh, was that just like the blown out part of the <laughs> other Death Star? Like, what am I looking at right here? You right. It looks it like from, someone attacked it. I think you build it from the inside out is the idea, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> first we start with a little pod, and then we just keep adding hallways. We're just waiting for drywall to be delivered. I'm sorry. <laughs> the emperor's gone mad. This is like a house that's gone all wrong. There's just stairs to nowhere. <laughs> oh, what a money pit I have on my head. Welcome, welcome to your master bedroom. Well, that's the first scene is Vader shows up and is like, what is this is ridiculous what yeah. am i being charged for here look listen listen contractors no. am i right <laughs> <laughs> yo ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa. who's this guy that it's another Grand Moff gerard oh, oh. Ger- Grand gerard? Moff gerard <laughs> or Ger- Ger- it's like a gerard yeah there's, gerard, there's, gerard. A, there's another j in the middle there it's gerjod or something like yeah. that yeah oh yes good old gerjod jerry gerjod i know people guy. are going to be mad that we don't have that Correct. You know what, though? There's there's some pretty dumb things to get mad about. And it's like, I'm so fucking nerdy about these movies, but like I've got limits, guys. <laughs> also, how do you, the complainer, know that you're right? That's true. <gasps> so Vader's like, hey, guess what? One, you, I'm a secret shopper right now. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming in in the middle of your... your... I'm the district manager. <laughs> He should have a clipboard. I would love it if Vader had a clipboard. Even if it doesn't have to be analog, Steve. It could yeah. be a little like bleep blopping clipboard. Sure. It's, but he is just looking at numbers. Well, he's like I'm looking at people's man. boots. He's like, that's not good. <laughs> or, or or like Ruben, the little boy with a clipboard next to him. Oh, nice. Who comes with him everywhere. Cause Ruben, I don't... take a note. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry fucked up again. Um, Sorry, it's Grand Mofter. It's Jerry. Hmm, only a six foot archway. Ruben, make a note of that <laughs> we asked for eight feet but all right my head here. brothers you will finish this death star on time oh, oh yes only one roll of toilet paper Ruben. <laughs> <laughs> so th- there's dialogue here about like uh oh the you know it's not done on time and it's like well the emperor asks the impossible i need more men mm-hmm. perhaps you could tell him yourself when he arrives and it's this whole like the emperor's coming here <laughs> i love that part I just, I kind of want the like open door farce of getting the Death Star ready for the Emperor. Of, oh, like, the totally. Indoor, outdoor, like you have some like real wacky music right here too. Mm-hmm. They're all running around. Maybe a, a classic <laughs> Scooby Doo hallway joke. Yeah, Tim like, Roth from Four Rooms is just hanging out in between. <laughs> <laughs> little, little Imperial bellboy. Vader also tells him that the Emperor is not as forgiving as he is, and it's like, whoa. He's not known for being forgiven. <laughs> yeah, so it's even worse. That's weird. That guy chokes people. Like, just straight up chokes people in the middle of the fucking hallway. No, yeah. You, oh, you don't want to... The emperor, he puts your legs backwards and make you walk backwards with the force. <laughs> I, yeah, yes, put an egg in your butt and walk it backwards across campus. Now you will waddle. Waddle. <laughs> Pick up the, the pickle with your cheeks. <laughs> oh, man. Mm-hmm. People do that. To people this do day right like they're still doing that people love it stuff mm-hmm. i think that's how you get admitted to college in some schools right yeah 
You do a little pickle well, ass trick, at, full yeah, ride. Yeah, at the really bad ones, at this point, you have to do what the guy in audition get, goes through <laughs> to get into a fucking frat at this point. That's but, why they keep dying. But I love that Vader... I, first of all, the triangular ship that we have in this, whatever... Oh, that, the Lambda-class cru- shuttle. Love it. It's love very, the design of those. It's so fucking awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. And it's also like... It's kind of very like '60s looking, like Howard Johnson. <laughs> yes, you know what I mean. It <laughs> looks like those old, like the Hojo hotels and mm-hmm. shit. Like it looks very triangular, yeah, like yeah. that. Very v- uh, yes, my classic car. I'm taking out. <laughs> Vader's taking his new wife up to the to the, uh, the new Howard Johnson. He's trying all the sherbet. Oh, she's gonna eat it all in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> then he's got to go back to New York and come up with the ad campaign. <laughs> My wife, who is bilingual in both English and French, I believe she's from Canada. We have a meeting with the Don Draper later this week. Well, I mean, yeah, you got to sell the fucking the Death Star. You've got all these rooms to fill. That's true. It's, it's, <laughs> this hotel will be fully operational. <laughs> Uh, just do you know what? Just do that at Galaxy's Edge. Just yeah. build an entire Death Star for yes, you to stay. Yes, absolutely. In. I would if they had like a Star Wars hotel. Mm-hmm. I would never go anywhere else on vacation. <laughs> like, holy shit! Can you imagine? Well, because well, then you would have to. Well, it would all. It's kind of turning into a sex hotel, but there'd be like fantasy rooms, right? Oh yeah. You'd have the, oh yeah. You'd have a right. Bespin room yeah. for sure. All of yeah. Galaxy's Edge is just sex stuff, right? Yes, exactly. All them role players. <laughs> I oh, think man. they are building a hotel there. So is that right? I think so. Yeah. So stay tuned man, for some, some like Star Wars sex. Fucking weird kids are going to be conceived there. Man. Bob, Bob Iger <laughs> asks too much. We need <laughs> twice as many men. <laughs> Perhaps you could tell him yourself when he arrives. Bob Iger is coming here. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> I just picture Bob Iger talks like Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so, anywho, we cut down to Tatooine, C-3PO and R2-D2 are roaming the desert once again. Did they, like, drop them off, like, a quarter mile down the road kind of a thing? Like, look, we, do, we don't want to see the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, exactly. that's exa- it's exactly what it is, I think. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's like, all right, get walking. This is as far as we can go, man. They're going to fucking spot us. You got to look like you got lost out here. Uh, and uh, C3 Poa and RTD Toa are. I, I love the little uh, language with the little eyeball bot. Right. Yeah, it's pretty and great. Now, some people in the room watch the Disney Plus version. Mm. Uh, me, me and Steve watched the original. Original, yes. right? Uh, in, uh, this is not a pay episode. I'll just say I watched the original version, period. Yes, yes. I watched it on a VHS tape, and then I watched a different way to watch it. That never mind. But on the Disney, oh, Plus the Shadow version, Puppets version, you did it yourself. Yes, you exactly. acted out all the characters. Three PO acted it out for me. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. That's what I love. I love that part in Endor when he's it's, just doing the, the one man show. Dude, I love it. It's the only endearing C three PO moment in history. You are just nuts with this C three PO hatred. But I told I told Chelsea when we were watching this today, I was like, you know what? The trailer for the new one kind of yeah. makes it look like he's going to eat shit at the end of that movie. <laughs> and as much as I hate him, when it happens, I know I will cry. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Without a doubt. I really loved him at the end of it all. <laughs> we had our differences, me and 3PO. It's C-3PO. Could you leave the door open a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> he's just sitting in a wheelchair. <laughs> Uh, sorry, no, Eric. It's you guys fine. see R2-D2 at the bank and R2-D2 puts, <laughs> puts a, a, a signed clothes. R2, please. Oh, oh, R2, talk to me. Oh, R- you're going to lunch. That's fine. I'll wait. R2-D2 can't eat the bread anymore. <laughs> oh, no. You get, oh, yeah. Dip it in the good oil. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so what I was going to say yeah, was sorry. very interesting because I was going to just talk a lot about a door. Okay. Yeah, what's about the door? So your the, door, door? the door in your version you watch, Chris and Andrew, or is is ten times bigger than the door we watched. For some reason, one of these Star Wars changes was to make the door look way more massive. Yeah, okay. I was like, what are you parking a boat in there? Yeah, like, what's the point? <laughs> well, to get Jabba in and out yeah, of the palace. Oh, you know. yeah, that's true. My 600-pound <laughs> life could, on he TLC. He could have made it through that regular door. <laughs> no, because he's not Slytherin no more. Yeah. He's, he's too fat. He yeah, can't his do Slytherin it. days are over, They have to dude. get a like a big platform through that door. Yeah, it's he's all a, floating he's, platforms. Yeah, he's, a, sure. he's a Hufflepuff these days. <laughs> uh, oh, so, Jesus. yes, I love the, um, I love the droid uh, doorman. Yes. Great, oh, yes. great exchange. Uh, and the whole thing is like, um, you know, C3PO is very nervous because it's like, 
you know, we have to negotiate with Jabba the Hutt. And, like, it's a, it's a classic, I'm going to tell, like, Luke tells R2 something and 3PO doesn't know shit about shit. And that's that's a good move, Luke Skywalker, because you know this gold fucking tin can is going to mess it up. He's going to fucking say something, mess the deal. He's, he's going to fold. Yes. You know a folder, that's him. Oh, no, I misspoke again. <laughs> and he comes, they go in, we meet Bib Fortuna. Yes. Jabba oh, no bother. <laughs> are, Jabba do hut, which are is one of my favorite Are all the Fortunas named after lettuces? <laughs> yes, there's Bib Fortuna, Romaine Fortuna. Fortuna. that guy's Kale awesome. Fortuna, it kind of works. The Kale Fortuna definitely kind of works. <laughs> Yeah, the kale is a classic oh. Star Wars. Bib Fortuna wants to fuck job. Uh, wants to fuck R two D two for sure. Oh yeah, oh, he, well, it's oh, a yeah. little sexual. The the He's slither gleam in the dome there mm-hmm. a little bit. But you, speaking of kale being a Star Wars name, I read a Star Wars novel that did have kale as a name. Really, one of the main characters. Was it spelled yeah. the same way as the yes, vegetable? Yes. <laughs> um, I think it was a human, and I think it might have been. Death Troopers might have been. I think hmm. that's out of the canon now. But that was a Star Wars zombie did, crossover with novel. Did it? Wait, talk wait, of, wait, 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 wait. What did you say? A Star Wars zombie? Yeah, yeah. There were like zombies in Star Wars. Is that right? Briefly. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I'm okay. fine with that. Too. A, ble- out of a canon. brief flirtation was, with yeah, zombies. It wasn't that bad, but it wasn't good either. Did it get into the backstory with his sister Spinach? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chris. <laughs> Was that the um? You know, uh, when she was younger, she was called Baby Spinach. Yes. <laughs> oh, 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 that's cute. Baby, and baby Kale. <laughs> yeah. What uh, was that? The thing you were telling me about that one book that was like, it was like kind of like a Star Wars horror book. Where yes, yes, yes. That that was one that's, of the zombies. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, some like stormtroopers become zombies or something. I might anyway. check that out. <laughs> so Anywho, we're about to meet finally Jabba the Hutt. Three movie, three movies in. We didn't yeah. know. What this guy was going to look like. It's a great fucking puppet. It's, yes. a, it's an excellent yes. puppet. It's, it's a great incredible. character design. And I was realizing, too, I hadn't really thought about it lately. I mean, I'm sure this thought crossed my path before because I've seen all the special editions before. But, like, of course he shouldn't be in that first movie. No, no. You know what I mean? Because, yes. like, so much of it is the great reveal. You've been talking about this motherfucker for two movies. Yeah. And you finally get the reveal. If he's there in the fucking parking lot in the first movie, what a waste. <laughs> Just hanging out in the parking lot. What is he even doing Was there? he me in high school at Taco Bell? <laughs> <laughs> definitely more leaner. Yes. He's, well, yeah. Well, that's in the, between the two movies. He... One. I think he had a death in the family. He kind of oh, just ate his way through it. It's just not sad. recommended. It's, it's yeah. sad. It was that weird mix of overeating, but he's also doing a lot of blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's just sick looking. He had like a like a hut queen living yeah. with him in this palace. And then yeah. she like passed away Taunts from, I don't know, hut warts. Whatever they... <laughs> oh, oh, man. Out of an gnarly <laughs> case of hut warts. <laughs> My question is... How did Jabba the Hutt gain the power? Like again, I'm talking about Martin Scorsese movies. There's always like, you got to be the toughest guy in the block, and that's how you amass power. Da 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 da. Yeah. When did everyone just start worshiping this space slug? Well, I think like, it was a thing, dude. He fucking assassinated the last dude that was at the top, and it's like, oh fuck, now this fat guy's the ruler. <laughs> They do turn in each other like that, but I think like the whole like hut planet, like I feel like the I mean, this is probably just the. Star Wars EU and stuff informing itself from just saying we're going to take what this movie did and just do that more. Yeah, for so sure. So I believe all the huts are basically usually gangsters. And but like royalty involved. kind of like passed yeah. on down. It's, kind a, of it's a thing. like uh, Italians in America. Got, got it. Well, yeah, <laughs> no, I guess they're all organized crime and they just pass it down. <laughs> so R.I.P. Danny Aiello, the father really way. fucking p- pounded the pavement. Right. Yeah. By the way, this is obviously we always say this that was not meant to disrespect. This is a pro mafia podcast. A pro hut yeah. gangster I mean, lord podcast. I just well. really quickly got lost in there, but we're talking about the mafia and Italians, man. R.I.P. Danny Aiello. Absolutely. Yes. Anyway, what were you saying, Kevin? Well, like, Tony Soprano isn't as fat as Jabba the Hutt, but they are, they're <laughs> similar. Like, they're mostly ordering other people to do stuff. That's very oh, sure. True. Yeah. yeah. And he hates his family. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, there you go. I will say George Lucas did in this final, because you never knew, knew, knew what Jabba the Hutt looked like. In 1983, it, he created the nuclear fat insult. 
right? Like, is <laughs> you call somebody Jabba the Hutt, it's like, yeah. fuck you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I guess that's true because everybody knew what that was. Exactly. Right? It's no, no, like, no. I meant you because he's got a lot of power and influence. <laughs> no, he's always eating fucking frogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like you call somebody Jabba the Hutt, it's right. like, fuck you, man. How yeah. fucking dare you? If I knew then what I know now, man, creating all sorts of schoolyard bullying motivation, <laughs> I would have made the same exact fucking choice as fuck you. I created Star Wars, you fat little kids. <laughs> <laughs> Him or, just turning on his audience. <laughs> or he could always be like, that was a little mean. So I'm going to go back and make Jabba a, a, just a little worm. <laughs> a fun little worm. He looks like Earthworm Jim now. Actually, actually Salacious Crumb was the original Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. salacious crumb. Yeah, so we're in Jabba's palace now. We get to see yeah. all the crew here. There's yep. like Greedo's cousin is hanging out here. Who is this dude? Uh, yeah, it's just another one of them. Yeah. And it, what's funny is in the special edition with Jabba at that parking lot, there were a bunch of Greedos dressed uh, basically exactly like Greedo. Well, that's you got to give him a, a blue out or a, a, like exactly. a, a black outfit or a red outfit or yeah, something. Yeah, not the same but exact jacket. Steve, so you didn't watch that version, and these guys did. They got to see the Jedi Rocks song oh. segment. Which yeah. features a sexy Greedo. There's definitely a sexy uh-huh. Greedo, Ooh. and she's like got like a revealing top on, and kind of like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, oh geez, who are they? They're sort of styling her after Grace Jones, like just a little bit in the yeah. outfit, and like because she, if I'm remembering it's it like right, she kind of has like a something. stupid mohawk too. <sighs> it sucks ass. Yeah. I mean, did it stop the movie dead for you? Did you want to be dead when you watched it? Yeah, I just kind of looked at my computer. How about God. that hairy bug that came out and was like, "I'll be dead." Yeah, well, because that's there's, <laughs> there's, there's Michael, <laughs> this <laughs> Michael McDonald little fucking furry. <laughs> Well, because it's a duet. It's a duet. It's Michael McDonald and then this other thing, and the lips mm-hmm. come right at Ugh, the camera. Yes, oh, I, remember, oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. get sucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking it's terrible. Fucking screaming ant uh, dog which, with this thing. That ant dog. Oh, wait, yo, not the ant dog, but the woman um, was in the original. But yes. But, but as a puppet. In the a back, puppet. In the background. And it's fucking like one of the worst. It looks like a puppet that got left out in the rain yes i recall sure. it being a really it's like barely eh, 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 like it's certainly not dancing around singing and i mean like the it takes away from the aesthetic of all of the coke disco that is going on at jabba's palace yeah. the entire time it's like right because it's kind of ju- it's like in the last movie or in uh in uh the the first movie yeah. you know in star wars 77 we had like the jizz yes right mm. and this is like acid jizz yes yeah. Yeah, for sure. Max Rebo band, the purple, uh, not the purple, the blue, blue, elephant. blue elephant. Yeah, he's the best. Purple elephant's what visits me at night. Yeah. But the, <laughs> the, he is the best. The Max Rebo band is super cool. This fucking blue elephant tickling those keys and shit, man. Do you think uh, they ever uh, went on tour and opened for Figure and Dan? I think it's the other way around, man. I think Figure oh. and Dan wishes he could open for fucking Wow, uh, you Max think Rebo. so? Yeah. Uh, well, look at it no, this actually, way, though. Actually, like, it's if Figure and Dan is considered the better musician. Okay, all right, man. all right. Like, I Figure and Dan. Like they're just dropping in to play the cantina or whatever, and then they might go play someplace else. Got it. But this other band, the Max Rebo band, they're like Jabba's house band. It's kind of like you're just stuck at a Vegas residency. Well, you know what it is? It's like the Roots and Jimmy Fallon. Like they, uh, yeah, <laughs> they are also held hostage, forced to play music for a crime empire. Yeah, man. I want. I want to know whose job it is uh, that's constantly holding twelve sniper rifles on the Roots. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, they're playing. Yeah, I had to sit through a terrible musical number. Wait, so did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right. I mean, I kind of I, in that argument. I think Rebo is clearly like the more experienced because, <laughs> like, the, like it's like when in the Irishman they have Rickles do like the birthday party. Yeah, sure. Like they paid him a lot of fucking yes, money exactly. to be there. It's fucking Rickles. Right, right. By the way, if you want more information on the Figment Dan and Max Rebo band, on the Gleep Glossary on our Patreon for the Figment Dan episode and the Model Nodes, I believe we do get into a little bit about yes, the Max we, Rebo. I mean, we got to do, we got to do Max Rebo for sure. himself. I, yeah. uh, that guy definitely OD'd. Yeah, oh, a couple yeah times. for sure. <laughs> I'm not remembering. Like he's oh, definitely. Oh, oh no! He's, <laughs> <laughs> Jabba finds him in the bathroom. <laughs> 
You're late for your set, Rebo. Get oh no, no. Oh, 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 get him a wake up shot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> right, <Lord. laughs> Where is it? Give me my I'm, little black medical droid. My little black medical droid. My little black medical droid. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, he's on the sail barge. Yes, and oh, that no, we see that explode, yeah. but I don't know. For all I know, in the EU, it's like he fucking flew out a window. <laughs> he's fucking I, I feel like the, the, the first side of trouble, Max Rube is like, oh fuck, and he's he knows that. You know, it's like a, yeah. like a cop breaking up a party. You just gotta right. get out of here. Exactly. But he went back for his stash, uh, and then it went. Then really right, then insane. it blew up. So uh, uh, yeah, we see Luke Skywalker in uh, hologram form, mm -hmm. uh, and he's he's bar he's. I love this black outfit. I'm a mm -hmm. huge fan. It's awesome. Of, it's not a priest outfit. It look, looks like it is, but it's like a Steve Jobs fit. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, the turtleneck ain't that long, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, he's got a little cut. Jobs in the had that chin up to his earlobes. But the vest is doing all the work, yes. you guys. The vest <laughs> the is work. <laughs> Steve Jobs is also armed to the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, in that song number, we do see Boba Fett get fucking horny. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Oh God. Oh, you know in the original. In the originals, I wanted to make Boba Fett really fucking horny, <laughs> but we didn't have the technology. <laughs> Yeah, what does he do? He kind of like pets that woman's head or something. He like or the, she the chin, under the chin. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, that's yeah. right. Like you know, Boba Fett fucks, but I don't need yeah. to see it. And this is the this is the segment. don't you though? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing with Boba Fett is I think he's like the one Mandalorian who doesn't give a shit about the like he's taking that helmet off oh, all the time sure. in the bedroom. Well, his like father was, and apparently I saw one of these episodes of the Clone Wars that people on Twitter were telling me to check out, and in that episode, one of these Mandalorians was just like. That, that's just some fucking bounty hunter. I have no idea how he got that armor. Like, he's yeah, supposed right. to be not Mandalorian now. But anyway, uh, uh, Boba Fett, uh, Steve, remember you showed that, that photo us, to us uh, not long ago of of Fett with the glasses, like the Jeffrey Dahmer yes. glasses and a little mustache <laughs> yes. and shit? That is the special edition Return of the Jedi uh. Fett. All the special edition changes with Fett, like different people were playing him. There's a guy named Mark Austin who played him in the parking lot. In so not Jeremy Bullock. Not Jeremy Bullock. And uh, Jeremy Bullock only plays him in Jabba's Palace, inside the shale barge, on the exteriors... It's um, it's stuntmen. Uh, that, well, that makes because it's yeah. all stunts. Yeah. I mean, I actually think that like, and there's not. It's weird because like, Boba Fett is kind of. I mean, even though like he's not. Um, By the way, one of the stuntmen is named Dicky Beer. Yes. So oh, dude. Dick, Dick Beer. Dick Beer, here, Dick yeah. beer dude. It oh, came man. back around. Get a little Dick Beer. Glenn uh, Randall Jr. and Dicky Beer. Um, heroes, both of them. I agree. It is a bit unceremonious what happens to Fett in this movie. He's the guy that steals Han. Like, he should have a little uh, something. I do kind of like it, though. It is, it, it yeah. is it's funny. It's, it's very funny. It's funny. It's the happenstance. It's just like you could die. You could get hit by a truck, and you you know you could be the best person in the world and get hit by a truck. Well, that's the thing, right? And I think, wow, what the fuck were we talking this about? On, uh, oh, man, it was something recently. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's the same thing. We were talking about it in our Mad Max Fury Road episode sure. that will air after this. Yes. Uh, but that whole notion too with Immortan Joe's death yeah. where it's just like here's this dude he's this hyped up villain and it's an unceremonious death yeah. same thing here like she fucking strangles him it is awesome yes. that she does it and it's like out of the way like the rest of the dudes don't even fucking see it mm -hmm. you know it's, oh, so it's, I, I like it you don't get like a huge <laughs> I'm trying to say that Return of the Jedi is very much like real life. And here's how. <laughs> Absolutely. Because you just fucking die, man. Not everyone gets this well, big dramatic fight or needs a long played out death or meaning to death. Death has no meaning. Life has no meaning. I mean, it's also <laughs> the goofiest of the movies so far. Oh, for sure. Yes. And like, so something like, whoops, a daisy, the blind man fucking sent him to an <laughs> eternal death. Well, what's great, what I love about this opening and with Jabba's Palace and the Sail Barch is we're just doing a pirate movie now. We are. Yeah. And it's fucking great. I yep. just, I'm a sucker for getting the gang back together, and this is one of the best getting the gang back together <sighs> yeah, of so all time. We gotta go back to the hologram, because we gotta yes. talk about Princess Leia coming in as yes. Bosh. Yeah, so he he, he Bosch basically Bosch is like, hey, <laughs> guess what? Uh, why don't you take my droids as payment? You know what I mean? Like, he's like, I'm gonna come and bargain with you in a couple days, but just 
take these droids as a sign of goodwill. And Jabba does. Um, there's the one droid getting tortured in the fucking. Oh, dude, the uh, fucking <laughs> feet torture. Yeah, dude, oh, that's shit, getting me off. That's and great. The, and then there's another guy getting <laughs> ripped apart. Oh, dude, yeah, for sure. It's pretty great. And it's all by uh, the dude who will go on to work at the cantina in Mando. Yeah, oh, that guy. That yeah. guy's like the supervisor <laughs> of like the droid torture. EV99, which I just read. Actually programmed to be female, you wouldn't know. Wow! But, great, yeah. great robot voice. Love uh, the robot love it. voice. It's you're a, a feisty little one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so this, like C three PO gets hired to be like the translator, mm -hmm. and uh, Ev is it ninety nine? Yeah. yeah, is like. Oh, good. We haven't had a translator since fucking Jabba had to kill that last one for some reason. He's like, oh, good. Employment. We're, we're also really behind on tortures. <laughs> I mean, look at this place. I have to torture this guy and then this guy. <laughs> I don't want to take in R2 and C3PO. Put them somewhere else, goddammit. But the crazy thing is these robots have pain receptors? Yeah, yeah. that's the part <laughs> I never understand. Why? Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> it's a great question. Uh, yeah, and R2 <laughs> is going to be a waiter on Jabba's sail barge. Man, you know, everybody's got to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> Good tips on that sail barge, though. You get fucking yep. really wasted customers. Exactly, dude. It's like working on a cruise. <laughs> a shot of oil for the, the garbage can thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm going to give this fucking little garbage can, like, 50 bucks at the start of the day, mm -hmm. and then he's just going to keep them coming, man. I don't even have to say anything. It's a great tip right up front, because also, Jabba's barge. Clearly an all-inclusive. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so uh, towards the, I guess, maybe it was before the musical number uh, where we have Ula, the uh, Twi'lek uh, uh. dancing girl that gets fed to the it, Rancor. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Establishes that fear of what is beneath the floors. Right. And it's a, it's a great fake out, too, because he's like pulling her in and you're like, oh, he's going to like lick her yeah. something. And it's like, nope, drop through the fucking floor. And it's it's a it's, I mean yeah it's it's a he's a bad dude that job of the yeah, hunt man yeah. and I, I think most of his concubines throw up when they look at it which is kind of a sad situation yeah it's but, just, but he's, he's into it to see yeah that. oh he's yeah got, oh he's yeah a humiliation well, call me I'm disgusting <laughs> <laughs> call me a piece of shit do oh, one day bro. <laughs> step <laughs> on my tail <laughs> look how little my semen port is. <laughs> 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 Insult me. Spit in my mouth or go out. <laughs> if I could put on a diaper, I would. <laughs> oh, man. You yes. know what? He probably should need one, dude, because he's slithering around leaving a little shit trail well, that's, everywhere. Th I think there's just a shithole underneath. Like... Oh, it's, right. it's not a hole, Steve. I think he's sitting on like a graded platform exactly. so it can just fall. I mean, th there's all kinds of horrors. I mean, it's kind of like little St. James Island and he's <laughs> Epstein. Like there's oh. all kinds of horrors down yeah. there so, that no, nobody wants to talk about. Bib Fortuna, is, he's, he's just called Bib because uh, he brings the shit bib to Jabba to like put like a little like a like a curtain in front of him so that he could shit through that grate without everyone watching him. Bib! Bib! Bring me my bib! Maybe that's why they have to have the musical numbers dude. It's like alright fire up the band. I need a distraction. Cover up these farts. <laughs> Because he's got to be defecating in of front of course. everyone. Of course. Well, he's not going to a bathroom, dude. Yeah, like, no. And it's just like... And there's, uh, there's all, like, this dry fluids coming out of his mouth at all times. Dude, yeah, his, like, little leaking side of his mm. mouth, it's just, like, white. Like, Maybe he pisses out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's white, so it'd be more like coming out of his mouth. Uh, I, I do love the I'm one... coming ja in Jabba's Palace. There is a Jawa <laughs> at Jabba's Palace. There's one who I think is, like, a Jawa that lost his way, and yeah. he's just, like burned out on coke it's been like he went to sell a droid and just never came back well because he was a jawa you know that had some dreams like mm. he was like i don't want to be going around this desert like stealing spare parts from others right mm -hmm. like i want to be an artist <laughs> and his jawa compatriots and family like kicked him out it's mm. like oh, oh, oh. it's kind of like rudolph the red-nosed reindeer oh, that's right? it's like you're fucking a different jawa you want to be a fucking dentist well get the fuck out of here <laughs> jawa <laughs> they you should know? do a new holiday special but about that jawa yeah Totally, and then he just finds his way there, and and Jabba's all like, "Oh, come, uh, you Jawa, um, Jabba, you know." <laughs> and he like gives him, he introduces him just like a little bump, really quickly, oh, and dude, then that yeah. dude's like hooked forever. Jerry the jittery Jawa. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, Kevin. That's great. New but, holiday special, Disney. There you go. Well, because it's it, that's what's kind of cool and sad about Jabba. He just needs people around him all the time, much yeah. like a drug addict. It's like when uh, in that season of Breaking Bad, when like Jesse Pinkman goes off the rails and like is doing drugs all the time and he, he's, like, he buys all of his friends' stuff. He's yep. got TVs everywhere. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just games. in his house playing Xbox 360. Exactly. It's, that's like, it. it's like that Ron Burgundy line of like, we've been going to the same party every day for 10 years and that is in no way depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That perfectly encapsulates the life at Jabba's Palace. So the next um, yeah. Leia comes. Oh, yes. Now disguised as a deceased bounty hunter named Boosh. I looked it up again. Boosh, the Bausch. mighty Boosh. Um, I might be pronouncing it wrong, Chris. You're right. Hey, I, Bosch. I, just I know that's the name of a television <laughs> program too, but it's also the leader of uh, the the Chud cast, Bosch, dude. Right? Yeah. Captain I was I, in my head. It was always Bosch, but maybe it was because of Chud <laughs> infection. Oh, yeah, shit. I, 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 I always read that. Looked at. I always read, <laughs> I always read it as Bosch as well, but yeah. But it's it is Boosh. such a cool character design. Yes. I love this helmet. I love the language, mm. I, and I I love the t- the tenacity of. Using the thermal detonator and Jabba agrees this bounty hunter is my kind of scum. This was <laughs> that's a great line. Too. This scene Fat specifically, nods, there's the respect of the bounty hunters guild. Oh right, right. I remember being a kid and calling out sick or calling out sick, pretending to be sick just so I could sit at home and watch Return of the Jedi because this was, like, yeah. was my favorite as a kid. Uh, hello, school. Yes, this is Mrs. Sadak. <laughs> yeah. Or I guess probably, this is Mrs. Sadak. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Steve's sick. But uh, I, this scene specifically, I remember like so clearly because I love this scene. I, the, the, th- the the look and feel of the thermal detonator is really cool. Yeah, and, and everyone's re- kind of ready to die too. Like Jabba's oh, yeah, like, oh, ho, ho, please. Well, it's because it's Make also this end, uh, as much as it is like a fun, you know, like coke party. Uh-huh. It's also like the last act of a cult. And they're right. ready to die, dude. And it's just like, oh, fucking thank God. Thank you. Speaking of you calling out from uh, school or whatever. Yeah. I I had this on VHS, obviously. And in college, I had one of those TV VCR combos. Cool. Very cool. So did I, dude. What was great about that, too, is that when it hits the end of the tape, it rewound itself. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I used to go to sleep watching Return of the Jedi an embarrassing amount of time. <laughs> an embarrassing <laughs> amount of time. It's a great, yeah. It, it, I've it, seen it, it the most out of all the yes, this is the this is the most nostalgia e of them all for me for whatever reason. Just mm-hmm. it, it is. This is the only one of the special editions that I saw in theaters too. Oh really? I saw yeah. them all in theaters yeah, yeah, multiple times. Because I'm a real, <laughs> I'm an actual fan. I'm, oh, I'm pardon kidding. me. Uh, so she comes in and she's got Chewbacca. I love Jabba's line, like at last the mighty Chewbacca. That's such a loaded line yeah. too, because yeah. it's like now this motherfucker has this huge history we don't really know anything about. Mm-hmm. But like that line must have inspired so many of these books and yeah. offshoots and shit. Like. How is he the mighty Chewbacca? Well, there's fucking now 19 books that will tell you why. I would wear a t-shirt that said the mighty Chewbacca because that's where I am in life. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, question about that bounty hunter really quickly. Is that someone we'd met before? Do we know that this no. person's dead? Um, I think that's just, um, you know, in the EU and stuff. Right. They explain, so, like, I guess where she got the armor or whatever. Right. So in this movie, it's like she just rolls up in a costume. Right. It was surprising, I believe, right? right. Like, yeah. she takes off the helmet when they're she's going to unfreeze Han Solo, and it's like, oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. she does a terrible job at trying to free Han Solo here. Like, I know it's nighttime it's a, on Jabba's palace. It's a terrible, <laughs> like, the position of where it is, you're never going to get to it undetected. And she's, like, tripping over things. Like, it's just like, stop making all this noise. Your eyesight will return in time. I get weird when I'm going, I'm in somebody else's house, I'm staying over, and I want to go to the fridge at night. Yes, exactly. Or the bathroom I'm tiptoeing. You're just banging and clarity, and you're yep. going to steal his favorite piece of art. Yeah, he's he's like sleeping basically in the same hall, like, yes. or whatever, and it's just like, let me free this guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ka-clang. Wait, where am I? <laughs> you're in Jabba's palace <laughs> with someone who loves you. Yeah, hyper sickness, hibernation sickness. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Your dick won't work for a couple of weeks. Wait, let me take this off so I can be louder. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. 
Well, then she has the audacity to tell him to quiet down. I was like, you're yelling. <laughs> you knocked the thing over. And then he opens the curtain. Oh, oh, oh. I just love that they're all behind this curtain like that, a game show. <laughs> that's a tight fit. Have you seen the <laughs> fucking size of that worm? Dude, yeah. it's like a, a college student's trying to cram into a telephone booth. Jabba's just got his hand on his... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's going to be great. Oh, it's oh, going quiet. to be awesome. You, you, shh, 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 shh. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> you suck it in. I, I, I've <laughs> sucked it in enough. <laughs> I'm even sucking in my tail. You're stepping on me. You're stepping on me. You're stepping on me. <laughs> That's not my foot. <laughs> you know, Bib, you didn't need to be here. <laughs> I could have done this by myself. But the curtain is revealed, mo ho ho, and he captures her. And uh, he does tell uh, Han Solo that he is no longer the smuggler he th- thought he was. He's like a piece of shit now, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we get to, uh, obviously Harris, welcome back to the franchise, Harrison Ford. Yeah, uh, throw away a lot of money here. Don't be a fool. I lo- I mean, <laughs> Don't be a fool is a great line. It's just one of those things to welcome back to the franchise because they weren't sure if he was gonna like sign on. But like, come on, yeah, of course you're going to. Harrison Ford. I know you care about nothing publicly, he's but you great. care. He's great in this movie. Too. He's excellent. This is the best he's in. Yeah. Really? He's, he's the best in this, I think. I'm, 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 I, I, I Empire? Think, I think Empire is yeah. a little bit. Yeah, he's just gotten a little, a little more swagger. I, I, I mean, I think he is he is great in this movie. The, li- the line, re- his certain line readings in this movie are amazing. Like when he tells Chewbacca to, I don't know, fly casual. Yeah. <laughs> and also the whole, when they're on the sail, where they're, the sail barge is going and they're going to be they're gonna have to walk the plank or yeah. whatever, and he's yeah. just like Luke is saying how you know he grew up here, and then and uh, Han says, "Well, you're gonna die here, you know." Convenient. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I like all of those lines, but also like as, I guess with the start of this too, like he's a little bit more of a vulnerable Han Solo. Yes, for sure. So he's not the like huge cock swinging around, you know. That's something true. about the cock Han was Sol- hitting my face in Empire, <laughs> which I didn't mind. <laughs> You shouldn't have watched it, it in 3D. <laughs> Maybe that's why I loved it so much. I am not a big We're fan. We're going to take out the cock in the special edition. I'm not a big fan of wet, wet-haired wet Han Solo, I'll be honest, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's just, he looks like a weird, like, he looks more scummy than usual with the yeah. slick back he hair. He definitely does. Also, I had a thought about this. You know, for the whole carbonite freezing thing, and someone should send a note to the Ugnaughts about this, just with regard to the technology. Why don't we take a note from Terminator and make these people naked? Yeah. Like Han Solo should have to come out of that thing fucking buck naked like and jump bur- his like palace. The the carbon freezing like burns your clothes off or like your your clothes oh, sure. can't unfreeze. Like, or yeah, something. you can go in with clothes on, but when you, you get unfrozen, it, they're just shattering right off you. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try to freeze somebody? <laughs> Listen, I'm sick and tired of hearing about complaints about wet underwear. It's none of my fucking business. You know, Harvey's a freaking fucking human being. Why don't you freeze him with a fucking bathing suit on then? Because, no, Han has wet underwear this entire first act. Yeah, dude, oh, there's sure. some fucking dick cheese going on uh, down there. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone in Jabba's palace is wet underwear. Yeah, that's actually true. There's <laughs> probably yeah. a lot of humidity in that room. Oh, you oh, know yeah. this whole castle smells. Yeah. Top he put, to bottom. He puts Han in the room with Chewie. We get a reunion. Oh, it's so right, great, pal. Too. I'm yes. all right. I, and I, that stuff's awesome, this. too. Love, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome, yeah. Yeah, because Chewie's talking, and he's just understanding it, and he's just reacting to it, and it's just like, a Jedi Knight... I'm out of it for a little while, and everyone gets delusions of grandeur. <laughs> another good one. Oh, it's also, like, by no, the way, man, that promotion fucking happened, dude. <laughs> like, how long have I been out? Has it been 20 years? <laughs> have I been out 20 years? Do we know what the actual timetable is here? Uh, I, do, it's, I do not. I'm sure someone has it measured. Um, yeah, like, sh- I don't think they say it in the No, movie. they certainly don't. It's a full shadow of the Empire. That's the unit of time. Because you don't know. It, it could be. It, it could easily be two days or a year. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's right. no real, like... Well, how long did it take Luke to, Luke to get that new fucking outfit I tailored? I think it's That's been... The and, and build a new lightsaber. I think it's been a few months. Yeah. We, yeah, at least. Probably, like, three... Because we'll also, three. Lando is working undercover this whole time. And, like, he keeps showing the camera that, hey, it's me, Billy, Billy D. Williams. Yeah. And I love the shots of him with this helmet on. Dude, he looks like the Ninja Turtles when they go back to Japan <laughs> with this fucking yes. helmet on. Well, it's, you just, all you can see is like his tiny eyes through the hole, which is I guess like uh, 
blend is a little bit of a, a known quantity, Jabba would be like, oh, is that the, the, uh, the Lando Carrizian? Sure. Oh, absolutely, oh, dude. Can... Yeah. Oh, do, do McFly with same gun. Now. He can Jabba. smell that motherfucker. Uh, I feel like Jabba has the smells down even. Well, see, that's that was Lando Calrissian's it, big mistake, Cabin, was he tried to go undercover as this uh, samurai ninja turtle, but unfortunately, <laughs> he was still bathing in the cologne that he's always yeah. wearing, so he was spotted instantly. Aqua uh, Jedi Velva. <laughs> you know, I'm one of the rare people that actually likes uh, Solo, but I feel like the me and you both. But I like Solo. Oh, I don't good, know good, you... good. Well, I'm medium. You're not alone the on comments, the island. The comments below this episode are abhorrently uh, anti-Solo. Sure. I'll tell you that. But I feel like it, it kind of cheapens it a little that Woody Harrelson has that same outfit, and then he wore it on the Kessel Run, and then oh, yes, it's just yeah. in the Millennium Falcon ever since. It's like uh, I want to. I want to picture like Lando figuring out how am I going to fit in? Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Well, it's kind of like uh, Don Johnson, uh, you know, just hiding that clan robe in uh, in Watchmen. You know, <laughs> it's just like you're just leaving clothes behind, man. I, don't I know. mean, he puts it in a safe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, so now they're all captured. Leia is now uh, in her slave Leia garb. Uh, oh yeah. Which I, I I read conflicting reports. One of which on the IMDb trivia said that she wanted to be a little more sexual in this movie because like you couldn't she wasn't sexual at all in the other ones. But I've also I, I kind of remember her later in life maybe thinking that that was like really shitty that you had to wear that outfit. I I never I don't know where that we yeah. landed on that. I feel like a lot of this Star Wars trivia is just like murky. Like yes, what? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's yeah. it's the IMDb. Yeah. Um, hey, Leia, I, guess what you're wearing today. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, uh, you're, you're, you're sure this is the last of these, right? <laughs> yeah. No more ideas floating around in that gobbler I, of yours? I tried to get Marsha to wear it, and she just gave me the cold shoulder. <laughs> um, so now it's it, it's you. It's hey. you, Leia. You get to wear it, Carrie. Uh, by the way, if you talk to her, have her uh, give me a call, okay? <laughs> yeah, there Christmas we go. is coming. It's a hard time of year for me. <laughs> We're getting divorced. Yeah, uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened in my life. <laughs> this is so after she's captured or whatever. This is, I think, one of the great. I didn't look up who shot this movie, but one of the greatest shots in this movie. Here comes Luke Skywalker, yes. opens the fucking door mm-hmm. himself. Mm-hmm. And I never, I, I mean, I, I haven't watched this one in a while, so maybe I just forgot. I don't want to say I never noticed, but. He fucking force chokes those two pig guards. I never noticed yeah. that either until this watch either. Um, that he is force choking them. Cold blooded. <laughs> yes. It's awesome, dude. Well, technically he... they're pig people, so they're not people. <laughs> like I think Luke. Somebody little... sound a lot like Anakin. <laughs> well, I'm, saying, I'm saying is Luke. Luke is sounding like that. That's Luke's train of thought. Well, he's wearing black. Like I, I feel like you know if Obi Wan cool. was around, he'd be like, ooh, a black. You really want to wear a black tunic? We usually, us light side Jedi's prefer taupe and beige. <laughs> well, here's uh, the thing: it's actually pretty uh, simplistic cinema semiotics. <laughs> uh, light color, good. <laughs> dark colors, bad. Well, part of the movie was supposed to be like, is he going to turn? Right, right yes, for but sure. I feel like this is also a testament to. There was a, th- a Twitter thread going around the other year about how. Obi-Wan Kenobi dressed the way he dressed just to fit in on Tatooine because fucking Uncle Owen's dressed the same way. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's right. just the local garb. And for some reason, everyone just was like, well, that's the Jedi uniform. No, and yeah. now that's what became everything in the prequels. But like, I think this is quite sharper. It's a sharp outfit. Makes yep. more sense, especially if you're living in an urban area like Corsica. Definitely mm-hmm. more support for your undercarriage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice Tighter tight. pants, which yeah, I yeah. appreciate. Yeah. He's got a tight pair of black jeans on. <laughs> It's all right. It's great. Uh, yeah, he um, he Jedi mind tricks Bib Fortuna, uh, who like basically like you know he tries the Jabba no bother thing does does not work, Ooh. and then it's like <laughs> you'll take me to Jabba now, and he goes, and it's kind of I, I love that Jabba doesn't fall uh, uh, prey to the Jedi mind trick, but I also feel like I would be trying the Jedi mind trick on everybody, and it's got to be oh, yeah. awkward when it doesn't work, yeah. right? Well, that was I was thinking. So is he like? Uh, what was that little bug thing? Watto, where he's like, my like biology, oh, like right. my alien race or whatever. Like you can't trick any of us. Or is it like only money? Well, it's, it's, <laughs> is it like Jabba specific? Do you think, or is it like all? I hot think l- I think it's just Jabba's just way too smart. I mean, he's built this crime empire, so he's not an idiot. Right. Yeah, Watto is way too smart. 
Yeah, yeah Votto, that's what that, was wafting off him. Was I don't see you with a fucking uh, uh, middle-aged woman and a ch- young child <laughs> as, a, as your personal slaves. Sure. So he might be a little bit smart. Uh, a little bit smarter. Yeah, no. let's see. Let's see you get that together. O- Obi Wan <laughs> says it only works on the weak-minded, so that's oh, why it works okay. on stormtroopers. Yeah. Like nobody's business. Sure. And yeah. even uh, Jabba says, "You weak-minded fool." Dude, well, it's also, like I Trumpism. Love, <laughs> I love the line Jabba has too. Like, I told you not to admit him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not taking any people today. Look, I'm hungover already. That's the other thing, dude. Yeah. There has to be constant, like, hair of the dog hangover situations sure. in this castle. Oh, for sure. Because, like, you have to wake up the next morning and immediately start drinking because the power of that, like, the combined hangover, like, the residual hangover yeah. effect of all these years of partying would, like, make your head well, pop and off. And because you got you got people to make McDonald's runs like nobody's business. <laughs> <laughs> well, frog water is just like Gatorade. Frog. Oh, the frog! Water. I oh, do love dude. that. There's just like legit frogs in there. Yeah. It's, it's like rigged. the lizards. Yeah, dude. It's just a regular, regular. <laughs> I frog. love the giant outdoor frog that just eats something. Yes, that's a great. Yeah, I establishing actually establishing shot. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's it's a nice little thing. He's made garbagey, computerized, yeah. obviously, but he looks great. It was a great little puppet. Yeah. Um, so he uh, is like, "Hey, Jabba, you know, I'm." I'm a Jedi Knight, and I'm benevolently letting... Like, I don't know, dude, just show up with some cash and be like, "What? let's make a deal. He offers right. 50000 Oh, that's right. Whatever yeah. the fuck. Because right, right before this started, Luke Skywalker robbed a space bank. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he was wearing all black to try to frame someone else. Well, no, his last outfit, the powder pack opened on him, and he had to get a new one really quickly. Good time with Jedi, dude. <laughs> yes. Uh, the credits exploded. It was a fucking plant. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Job was like, uh, yeah, no dice, motherfucker. Drops him and this pig person into the pit, uh, which is great. This the pig person is eaten instantly by this monster. Gam- Gamarian guard, I believe, or oh. Gamorian guard. Uh-huh. Yeah. They have a name, Eric. <laughs> That's what I just said. Quarksock. <laughs> Corksock the Gamarian guard. Yeah, it's not just Gamarian guard. Corksock is no longer canon. <laughs> you fool. Yeah, I, I went back and ret- retconned Corksock to Jeff. He's just his job. That's it. <laughs> Fuck him. Apparently, Lucas wanted the Rancor to be uh, a guy in a suit like uh, like Godzilla, and like they tried it a bunch of times, it just didn't work. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw some oh. footage of them trying it. Oh, it was really? Pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Did so it have it was- the same design or? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I think they were going to try to get rid of some of the dude because it was. I think he just had like, now I've got big like rancor hand on my hand, but you can still see my fucking elbows. <laughs> oh like Jesus! I I think I watched this like documentary. It's called the the half assonant elements of Star Wars. It was like an eighties like made for TV thing about like the saga, and it had a lot of that shit of like the yeah. creature design and them like trying stuff. Later on, when we get to the Forest Moon of Endor, when they had the um, the speeder chase, they were like mapping it out with action figures. Kind of funny too because the stormtrooper action figure was Boba Fett, so it was Boba Fett. Oh, that's good. yeah, I've seen this before. Yeah, 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 and. Um, where did you watch? Is it on YouTube or something? I watched it. I wish I remembered the guy's name because a fan sent me a co- copies of the original trilogy. Um, let's just say they're legal. <laughs> and it, he included a bunch of like random special features. Oh, that's kind of cool. Including nice. like all the old like Kenner toy ads, which are awesome. That's awesome. Fuck. We got to yeah. get a P.O. box so people yeah. can mail us. That's things. what I want. Yeah, yeah we're, <laughs> That's going to come in the next year. Andrew, uh, from the internet ticker, Alan Hume shot this. Uh-huh. And he did uh, a like some of the worst fucking Bond movies. Really? For, for Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, okay. and A View okay. to a Kill. Also, uh, yeah. previous episode, Supergirl, uh, and two good movies, Runaway Train and Life Force. I guess he just got on the cannon train. Wow, mm-hmm. weird. You never okay. got off that cannon train. No, dude, speaking of cocaine, and Runaway I mean, Train. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All speaking of the behind the scenes stuff, Lucas wanted or approached David Lynch, obviously. Oh, sure. Right. Oh, man. That's a, uh, Didn't happen. <laughs> Would have been interesting. Would have been probably better than his Dune adaptation. I need to rewatch that. Dune though. is great. You I, like I'm it? on the record. I love that movie. Dune is one of my two, I think I mentioned this recently. I don't know why on the air, but my two Lynch movies I haven't seen that and mm. Straight Story. I saw Dune a long, long time ago in a galaxy far. far <laughs> That's yeah. where your fucking brain was, dude, when you were watching it. Exactly. I think it was a little ahead of its time. It has some of the most amazing visuals. Like that really makes me think he would have knocked this out of the park. 
They didn't use any of the Hodorowski concept art, though, right? I don't believe so. No. Yeah, I remember watching that documentary, which is a thing that's just a DVD extra. Thanks, but no thanks, George. <laughs> yeah. Just thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> well, uh, uh, apparently a lot of people turned him down, too, because it was like, it's not DGA. Like, the Directors Guild had nothing to do with this. That's yes. why well, they got this Welsh guy to direct it. It's Barkman, who did Jagged Edge. After and, like, this. Nothing, and, that's and then he it. died he in 1987. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I feel he like... He plays an ATAT, no, ATST walker guy. Oh, he's one of uh, okay. pilot, yeah. Similarly, I would have liked to see Spielberg do this as well. I think yeah. a Spiel, it might have been too Spielbergian, but it'd be I'm, interesting. I'm thinking he... We might get a shot at that soon because I I read that like they're going to announce a new Star Wars director after this next movie comes out, Episode Nine. Yeah, yeah. and they're keeping it under wraps. I would not be surprised if Spielberg comes in. Well, that's Ron Howard came in. I don't want Ready Player One Spielberg. I want fucking you know. I want E. T. Motherfucking. And you're not going to get it though. That's I I don't want that to happen. No, no, yeah. You know what I mean. I don't want it to be announced that he's going to do that movie. Because it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. No, because it's, 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 it's easy. Well, it, we're, 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 that other phase. trilogy was canceled. What other trilogy? The Game of Thrones. Oh, yes. Fellas. yeah, that was, yeah Those dudes done. are done. I mean, they're just throwing Ryan shit at the Johnson's walls. Ryan Johnson's still involved, yes. which is yeah. good because yeah. he's a good filmmaker. I, mean, I said yeah. it. Yes, he is a good filmmaker, yeah. and we'll just move on with this and episode. If you comment below, I won't read it. <laughs> <laughs> and separately, blow it out your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George. Yeah, that's a good idea. Whoa, we got <laughs> Andrew is 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 dying from laughter. He almost he was drinking <laughs> beer and he almost he You almost guys ever uh, you guys ever get Shiner Bach just right up your nose? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the Shiner strikes Bach. That reminds me, George, <laughs> blow it out your ass. Maybe we'll get coffee sometime, but that's about it. <laughs> what do you mean I cannot smoke on the set? <laughs> that I think is why the major turned down. How you <laughs> final straw if I can't <laughs> Fucking light up in here. I want Werner Herzog to direct a Star Wars movie. Uh, that, that, that I would I like would do. That, that I would like to see. Yeah. 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 Oh, actually, Werner Herzog doing a Star Wars thing, but it's like a fake Herzog documentary. <laughs> and he's just his guy from Mando, like going around like this this space volcano is going to blow up, but the citizens of this planet refuse to leave. I'm here to find out why. It's just overhead shots of it's like lessons of darkness. Overhead <laughs> shots of all these planets in constant war. I love it. That'd be amazing. Oh man. That'd That'd be be the real toll of the Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> so Luke drops the door on this thing's head. Well, he does the, the chicken bone trick, which he always loved as a little kid. Uh, yeah. Dude, that it, fucking <laughs> happened to my dog one time. She was eating sticks. Yeah. And it got stuck, like, uh, and she just looked at me like, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, he, he throws a skull at the door, kills mm. it, and my favorite character comes out, which is a guy I could very much imagine myself being <laughs> this fat guy that loves the Rancor more than... <laughs> fat, the- shirtless guy. Yeah, this guy has got his shirt off. And there are nipples in Star Wars. And he is just weeping about this. Right? It's him and a pig guard, right? They're both a little upset about it. Sure. Yeah. This guy, though, runs in there, though, to be like... Yeah. He raised it. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Like, yeah. if oh, fuck, if he's got any last words, I got to hear it now. I feel like the Rancor was a fucking doctor in his home planet. You know what I mean? And <laughs> what, they just, with, like, oh a little God. briefcase? <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess a, a huge briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah a coffin-sized <laughs> briefcase. He went to Tatooine to start a new yep. sort of big job opportunities and great. Now I'm fucking eating people. I have again. to go to the uh, medical convention on Tatooine. <laughs> I shouldn't be back. I should be back pretty soon. Like, give a kiss to daddy. <laughs> puts on his fedora. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is you went to a planet where you're fucking five times the size of everybody exactly. else. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, he was a short rancor. He's like five. He's like five four. Exactly. But this guy can't do precise heart surgery on Job of the Hut. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that's what you used. I back on my planet, we got scalpels the size of a mountain, <laughs> and we got to use it on each other all the time. <laughs> you charge for health care here? That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> do you have no heart? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this this dude's crying. It's fucking great. Um, we get like a like a yep. like a little courtroom drama here where J- <laughs> Jabba is sentencing them for the death of the Rancor. Yeah, <laughs> and like C three PO is like interpreting, and it's like we'll be, we go to the Dune Sea where you'll be cast into the pit of Carcoon, where the Sarlacc will digest you over a thousand years. Yada yada. My favorite get the gang back to- together line is. You get Han, everybody's back. It's Han, Chewie, Leia's there just kind of observing, and uh, Han still can't see that well. 
Uh, and he goes, uh, and he's like, how, hey, Luke, how are we doing? He's like, uh, oh, 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 same as always. And he goes, that bad, huh? Yeah. It's, a, it's a great, great line. I was just going to say, the, the threat of where you will be digested over a thousand years, I mean... There's you're skeletons. Yeah, exactly. made, you're gonna die in like ten minutes. Exactly. Total tops. It's such an empty threat. <laughs> there was um, one of the uh, Star Wars EU stories. I think Tales of Jabba's Palace had a guy that was just like living down there in the <laughs> pit. Yeah, in, just... in the Sarlacc. Yeah, hey, you know, bit. it's not that bad. I don't know, it's not that bad. I got my own room. I don't have to share a bathroom with anybody. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, that's Boba Fett. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you do. Yeah, yeah, Boba, Boba Fett was talking to him. I know yeah. everybody says it, but you do get used to the smell. <laughs> Speaking of the Sarlacc, I just want to mention, like, you know, people are like, oh, you know, the whole fat surviving the Sarlacc, how stupid, this, that. People, I think people have a, a notion of, like, this is a modern thing because everyone loved how cool the character looked. But I recently bought a comic book that in a collection of all the old... Uh, comics from right when the movie came out and i have one from november 1983 so wow fett dies in return of the jedi may 25th 1983 the movie comes out november 22nd of that same year while the movie's probably still in theaters he's resurrected yeah in the comic books wow eric's same got year. a lot of uh, air, uh red strings going between uh thumbtacks <laughs> yeah, on this the board studio's here. really cramped right now <laughs> With uh, all this I'm, research. I'm just having fun, guys. <laughs> I'll We're, tell you what, as far as like the special edition shit goes, when you're introduced to all the exteriors of like the ship <laughs> flying and everything, this shit looks fucking bad. Yeah. I'm, all of these exteriors look terrible. Mm-hmm. It's just, just it's the computer town. itself with that beak. Like, what do we do? Dude, it looks like something out of Nintendo 64. What was so cool about this? It's like you're forcing them to walk the plank and they fall into this pit in the sand like you'd fall into the ocean. And yes, there's a sea monster or sand monster. I mean, there's teeth. Here. That's all you have. That's it's all right. you need. And yeah. there's and Teeth and tentacles. Well, tentacles. You got the fucking octopus tentacles. Well, what else do you, you need? See, you see, the little babies were getting confused as to, it looks like a pit of carcoon, but there's a sarlacc inside. It just looks <laughs> like a pit. No, there has to be a little beak. I'm sorry. There has to be a beep, a, a beep that burps. <laughs> the burp did happen in the original trilogy right after Fett is original trilogy, the original cut yeah, of the film. Yes. I, I think it's fun. I think it adds level le- levity and I think it fits in the comedic sense of the movie. Yeah, so, no, it's totally. I'm I'm pro burp. So <laughs> R2 is uh waiting tables and packing a lightsaber by the way. You got to pack yep. this droid mm-hmm. down before you let him go in. I know, dude. Just how about a quick scan everybody? <laughs> see what's inside this thing. It could just be a hollowed out garbage can. Exactly. exactly. Kenny yet Baker's a- in there. <laughs> yet again, do you not see all the other droids I have to torture? <laughs> I don't have time time for this shit. Oh, or maybe they're like checking R2-D2's ass for contraband and it's like, wait, did someone shove a metal rod up here already? <laughs> that was on the docket for torture. All right, you've had the metal rod. Go ahead. I love uh, No, C- that's my heart. Uh, it's a lightsaber heart. Uh, Beep boop. I, I love when C-3PO bumps into him. Oh, like, yeah. oh, R2, what do you do? Selling drinks? <laughs> yes. And he, like, R2 kind of, like, bleep bloops, and it's, like, it's the Star Wars equivalent of the Flintstones. It's a living. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so he fires. They're about, Luke's about to be the first one into the pit. Great Mark Hamill stunting around. I love this fucking, this diving board stunt. He yes. jumps, so awesome. grabs the lightsaber. And now Luke is just fucking murking dudes up with a lightsaber. I love it. Left end or right. It's awesome. Uh, the one thing that I noticed, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, and it's it's a bad it's a bad move on Lando's part. Is like when Luke's looking around and they're all like making eye contact, like all right, like the plan's about to be executed. Lando Calrissian, the most obvious nod of yes. all time yeah. to this person that's about to be executed, <laughs> and I'm like. Dude, they all just saw that. Like, why did you just fucking salute him or something? <laughs> I love the green lightsaber, too, by the way. Green is a great color for a lightsaber. Yep. Yep. It, it, it looks amazing. And I guess they wanted to go green on this. The trailers apparently had blue in the oh, sequence, but, could, but they felt like it got lost in the sky. Yeah. So, oh, that totally checks out. Yeah. yeah. And um, I guess if he built his own thing, he'd modify not? and the color could. And it, that is kind of more of a direct opposite of red, anyway. Right? Yeah. Plus, it's, it's, it's the holiday season. Yeah, <laughs> it's the holiday. Well, it came out in May, but <laughs> so Luke goes on the sail barge proper. Uh, he free. Oh, no, uh, well, Luke... Fett 
Fett runs out of the sail barge. Does Boba his Fett, where? Jetpack. Cool, cool shots here, man. Yeah. Fucking yep. Fett rising up and then just using the rope around Skywalker. Mm-hmm. So good. And yeah, <laughs> uh, and Luke, Luke's killing all these dudes in the sail barge. Uh, does he free Leia? How does Leia get freed? I forget. She's strangling Jabba herself. Oh, that's like she, she kills him first. She kind of yeah. gets free on her own accord. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they meet up on the roof deck, right? And she's like, he's like aimed the cannon at the ship. Deck. Yes. Yeah. I will say yeah. this is a brutal death for Jabba the Hutt. Like, in yeah. all of Star Wars, getting choked to death. I mean, like, we've seen that also, but like with the chain and his fucking tails, like, he's coming as he goes a little Dude, bit. Dude, he's like the fucking brother in law in the Godfather. <laughs> yeah, he's exactly. <laughs> He's getting garroted. <laughs> please, please, I said the safe word. You, we can, <laughs> you can lighten up now. Ah! And the great notion. This is amazing and terrible at the same time. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm oh, coming sh- as my soul leaves my body. I see the light. I'm in the Robert Ducaradine. <laughs> the thing. Thank you. Now, now uh, stuff salacious crumb in me before you go. <laughs> oh, did I say Robert? <laughs> I meant David Ducaradine. <laughs> David Ducaradine. Robert Ducaradine got into a car accident the other year. That's oh, it. sad. Um, it it's great that Leia kills him, so it's totally fine as it is. But it would have been rad also if right before that fucking ship blows up, he kind of like comes to consciousness, like yeah, well, what all do happen, do Bobo? Yeah. and then it just boom. So he's awake <laughs> while it happens. Um, also, there's a great thing. Uh, Salacious Crumb assassination attempt on R two D two right yes. here. Oh, yeah. yeah, fucking awesome. Also, apparently, or R two D two attempting to assassinate Salacious Crumb, and he does that. They like they like throw the puppet like up into the rafters. It's fucking crazy. well because he's eating C three PO's eyes, which apparently oh, gave right. Anthony Daniels a panic attack. Because I, I, I guess what? You, just imagine being in this fucking weird suit, and yeah. some guy is just like with a puppet mask is just like pulling at your eye yeah, for like that, that's two hours and like George is like gotta do it again I <laughs> read a little about this and like I feel like this guy doing the puppet stuff was a fucking terror on the set what, what? the salacious crumb puppeteer yeah he, he was a lot of shit I think he was also Admiral Akbar, and he said Han, uh, I almost called Harrison Ford Han Solo Harrison Ford <laughs> uh, you meant Indiana Jones <laughs> almost got <laughs> Indiana Jones almost got him fired off this movie according to some interview he gave a few years ago whoa because during the whole like Jabba's Jabba revealing like him and Leia and they're gonna you know that whole part apparently like he was like oh we saw you kissing like during the scene oh and like what? Harrison Ford like was taken out of the moment and was so pissed off about it yeah. but then in that documentary I was watching that dude I can confirm was a terror on the set <laughs> he's fucking cracking jokes as these puppets during the whole thing Ugh. I'm pretty sure. I would have to go back to the video tape. <laughs> but I think he comments on Carrie Fisher's breasts oh, that makes in sense. this documentary, Ad Salacious Crumb. Oh, and, dude. It's like the video of yes. Alf using the N-word. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? You yes. never saw that? No. Oh, dude, yeah. Ish. It's not good. Yeah. Puppeteers so, being wacky with their puppets, dude, and being horrible with their puppets. No, thanks. This is why they're... Really disgusting people, general, generally, <laughs> generally. generally. Look, <laughs> look, I looked at my contract. My lawyer looked at my contract. Nowhere, nowhere in that language do they say I can't jerk off while I'm puppeting. <laughs> but look, it's that's like, how I get a good performance out of my other hand. It's the rush. It's the rush <laughs> that gets me through it all. You're an actor. You're trying to yes. fucking make it believable that you're interacting with these fucking puppets. Yeah. And he's wisecracking no. during takes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. No, thank you. So wait, he also, said Harrison as, Ford being mad at me is one of my bi- top four biggest fears. That keeps oh, me yeah. up at night. <laughs> but wait, so he was as salacious Crumb said, like, we saw you kissing. Yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah, dude, that dude on sucks. IMDb, he, all trivia. the fucking funny business with your puppets. <laughs> but Get I saw him on that videotape. I'm pretty sure he said nice. T word. Wow, really? Uh, and they really? kept it in the documentary. Nice tauntaun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And she's like, awesome. You know, Great. I'm fucking a lead in this, mm-hmm. Mr. Puppeteer, yeah. if you don't mind. It's a thousand <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's a thousand degrees in here. Yes. And this fucking Jim Henson runoff is <laughs> commenting. This about. guy you can't even fucking clean Henson's boots. 
I he um, probably started cleaning his boots. That's how he got his job. This is my favorite Lando <laughs> moment of all time, which is when he goes over and Han has to save him. Uh, also, I, I would still, if I'm Han, I'm like, hey, you fucking froze me. Goodbye. Because I don't know. What? <laughs> you don't know what's going on. A little higher. On. Yeah, th- that's my favorite part. It's like, yeah. you said you were blind. And yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, no, no, I got it. I got it. It's, uh, it's well, so great. I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, his history with Lando has been back and forth. They kind of love each other anyway. He expects to yeah. be screwed over. That's true. And the fucking, and the, the tentacle goes around his leg. The, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. Billy D. Williams has some awesome exclamatory sounds in this movie. Yes. That one. And then, of course, the very famous thing at the end of the movie, the yeehaw that he oh, gives. Love Fuck it. Him. Oh, I was fist pumping with that one, man. <laughs> uh, so they, I mean, uh, Luke, Leia blows up the the sail barge. Luke uh, swings onto the other thing. Yep. And uh, we get a great Billy D. Williams. We're on our way. It's just, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, the yeah. gang is officially back together. Don't forget totally. to pick up the droids. Oh, yeah, 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 and don't forget the droids, which yeah, is great. Who, who jump off the sail barge. It's really uh, lucky that they've got those fucking two little magnet things that they can <laughs> yeah. just what pick them up out of the sand and drag them up into space. How like convenient. Yeah, was that the uh, Jawa's ship that he stole there? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> And uh, now Luke is going back to Dagobah and Han and Leia are going back to join the rebellion. And uh, we get a little like a uh, voiceover of like, now I owe you one, kid, which should really yeah. no, He still owes you one. He owed you two last movie. <laughs> you sa- you that, saved you once. That was three. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, pal. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's like, yes, R2, we're going to Dagobah. And R2, as a robot, rolls his eyes. Like, oh, I fucking hate that. God, this is this was the place with the lizards and the fucking swamp. You know that I roll everywhere, right? You know how much it hurts to roll over twigs. It's still, still on that barge, I hadn't dried out. <laughs> All my insides still soaking fucking wet. Is this like a one day Dagobah trip or like a three month thing? Because you gotta fucking tell me, man. You're, you're not talking to the little piece of. Oh, you're talking. Of shit. <laughs> okay, I fine. I hate that guy. So yeah, he's gonna go to Dagobah, but then <laughs> promise to, to keep to an old friend. Oh yeah, and then speaking of old friends, the Emperor. We get his <laughs> arrival on the Death Star. It looks like Triumph of the Will. Yes, yeah, with the music dude. to accompany it. But which is which is what it should look like. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This posse that the Emperor's got though uh, is pretty great. I love the red dudes. Oh, the Imperial oh, yeah, Guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're great. So good. <sighs> These dudes are fucking great, and they're a weird like. I don't know what the fuck was with me. I think I was like partially colorblind as a kid or something because they were not characters that registered red with me until much later I mean, in you life. Watch it on VHS this too, you know what I mean? Like it's, the color is a little duller. Yeah, anyway. I mean it's weird because like, and also the ones that uh, are chasing them toward the end of the movie that are in black yeah. uniforms. To me, it was like everybody was a stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. And like that's just what it was. And now it's like the red outfits and the black ones. Which is what I love about Last Jedi, again, uh, blow it out your ass, um, is because you've watched this movie and you're like, oh, those guys look so cool. And they never do anything. And in that movie, it's I mean, they're different. I know it's different, different but, right. but it's very close, obviously. In the prequels, Yoda just takes two of them out without anything. Yeah. And you never even see them fight. And it's just like annoying. And then in Last Jedi, it's fucking awesome. That fucking fight scene it kicks. Make, it makes the movie arse. <laughs> and speaking of Last Jedi, there was a line that Yoda says that like now, like now, the last of the Jedi you will be. Oh right, yeah. So it's right. like the title of that movie is from this movie, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and right? I love, yeah, I do love it. it's Yoda. He's like, he's kind of like, oh, oh, you're a little late in the day to be coming, dying, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Although this line that he has, I think. You know, like Jack Lemon, I think, has the all time best tombstone. Uh, Jack Lemon in. <laughs> and that's it, right? <laughs> I want this on my tombstone, man. Twilight is upon me, and soon night must fall. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's such a great fucking line, man. Also, he's getting, into this, he's getting into his deathbed. He's got this Star Wars and the belts. Like, does <laughs> everyone need a fucking belt yes. with a pouch on it at all times? Yes. Well, did Steve, where else are you keeping your stash, man? You need that pouch, Andy. Mm. Need it to pay boatmen of River Sticks, I do. <laughs> uh, Luke, help me take my belt off. <laughs> oh, now my shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's a double knot. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're doing the wrong, the wrong voice. Bon voyage, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep. For a week. (laughs) (laughs) 
Yes, in our Empire Strikes Back episode, we uh, posit that Al Pacino could have played Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I gotta tell you in this scene too Mark Hamill is fucking acting up a storm oh, Alongside sure. nothing but this fucking puppet As always And yeah. it's kind of There's this great And I was watching it this time uh, The line and the moment of like Is Darth Vader my father? And you could fucking feel the assholes tighten In the mm. theaters in 1983 Because nobody yep. knew Told you did he? Yeah yeah, exactly Clench it's, time Because it's like you've been waiting Like there's a a lot of fan theories going around. Maybe it was a lie. Maybe blah, blah, blah. It's an sure. emperor's trick. And first he's like, uh, oh, I told you, did he? Oh, soon I will rest. He's like, Yoda. It's great. I What I noticed, though, and I think this is the Yoda equivalent of it. So he's like, you know, he told you, did he? Yeah. He says, yeah. And Yoda goes, unexpected this is. Which I think is the Yoda equivalent of, oh. Bummer. <laughs> I guess pinky swear me nothing now. He says unexpected and unfortunate, and Luke's like, unfortunate that I know the truth? No, unfortunate that you didn't complete your training. Yeah. Mother, oh, you yeah. completed yeah. my class, motherfucker. <laughs> Background on you, motherfucker. Dude, the I, teacher on his deathbed. For incomplete. <laughs> but uh, I was told it would be pass fail. <laughs> I... <laughs> Attendance mandatory. It was. You know, I only signed up for this because it was like a gym class requirement. <laughs> uh, and you know, he tells him like, "So I am a Jedi." And he's like, "Nah." Well, he's like, "Not until you confront Vader." And he's like, "I can't. I don't know if I can kill my father." And he's like, "Well, then the Emperor's already won." He also I does another line that speaks right to what Luke winds up doing with Ray. Yoda tells him, "Pass on what you have learned." Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, the the most drawn out Frank Ozzy Frank Oz delivery of "There is another sky walk," <laughs> and again, it's like in the theater, you're just like, finish the sentence, puppet. <laughs> well, what are you he, saying? This is the problem. He's got like six li lines <laughs> left in his body after 900 <laughs> years, and he keeps being like. Luke. It's like, oh, we know you're talking to Luke, dude. Like, cut that out. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, sadly, uh, Franco was being paid by the second. Uh, <laughs> and he really, really took us for a ride. I'm going to yeah. be honest with he's you. A, he's a true professional, man. He knows how to milk that shit hard. Do you know how many houses he has? <laughs> More than me. He's got a house for every fucking puppet, man. They all just live in their own little puppet house. And he disappears. Um, and... Luke's got to be like, oh, fuck, he's dead. Like, um, who do I call? Do I call somebody? He said he had a son. I don't remember. <laughs> Was he in Florida? God, I well, don't remember. <laughs> but oh, Ben shit. Kenobi shows up because he's the Grim Reaper now. <laughs> that's, he, that's the straw he pulled in the afterlife. <laughs> Let me see if uh, Yoda has anything in these pockets. <laughs> oh, oh definitely. Go. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I'm going through all that shit. Oh, yeah, you're getting all the, oh, wait, he owns nothing. <laughs> Oh, he hid this away up there. Oh, yeah, this has to be something good. You're just robbing Yoda's house looking for, like, the old man's treasure, and it's just, uh, nope, still just a bunch of sticks. Oh, it's a picture of him and some lady Yoda. Aw. It looks just like the lady gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> I like how concise this is, too, because then Obi-Wan shows up, and he's just like, hey, motherfucker, you lying ghost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, didn't tell me, you didn't tell me that he was my father or whatever, and he was... Obi-Wan's just like, well, what I told you was true from a certain point of view. Dude, a certain point of view? <laughs> I would throw a rock it. at this ghost. I would be like, you fucking ghost. Yeah. So what if the, I'm so glad you're dead. Yeah, there, I said it. The, you have all the reason to follow the dark side well, because these fucking lion ghosts. <laughs> I mean, you see, R2-D2 must be looking at this, him yelling at a swamp. <laughs> yeah, like, that's actually true. This motherfucker has lost it. Oh, he has gone away. <laughs> You know, uh, Luke, I'm gonna fly home. I just don't trust you. I, I, I do not. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, buddy. You can you can find your own way out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> Maybe yeah, yeah, Yoda's got, got a car in the garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the force. I don't know what you call it. That's fine. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be in charge now. I do like that this ghost sits down because Alec Guinness is like, listen, George, <laughs> I'm a little long in the tooth here. It's, it's more intimate if I'm a ghost sitting down. What about doing the scene, but they have the conversation sitting on a log? <laughs> I mean, George, you know you don't really need this scene. It's all explanatory. I, d I, d I don't know why you want me to be here. <laughs> I mean, it's tr they could have definitely done it as like a voice in his head yeah. when he's flying. There's like two lines in it that maybe make 
make a difference, but like, yeah, well, I it, like it anyway. It, it's it's nice because you you do kind of want to close that loop, and this is where he finds out or he confirms that Leia is his sister. Leia, Leia's my sister. The shocking uh, confirmation on that, considering she's the only woman in these movies. <laughs> well, apparently yeah. there is a the way it was originally sort of written was this there was this Nelith character that was Nelith the, Nelith. Lilith. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, Nelith. No, but she was going to be this mystery sister that wasn't going to be in this movie what? and possibly set up further movies down the line. And So it wasn't going to be Leia? It was Nelith? That's what it was. And then Lucas, like, cause, because he was just literally tired of this whole thing. and like, uh, Yeah, and it would, cl- it would close not only the Skywalker saga by confirming that, but it would also close the whole love triangle loop and yeah, it was get, just, get Han and Leia together and that'll be that. So right. he wanted it. He just... Tightened it up as like Leia, and yeah. it makes it's sense. A, it's, a it's a good it's, move. I think it's, it's good. Look, it's, good. It's, it's part of his character that he knows what his sister's mouth tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's part of his character. It builds the character. Luke has like a one last look at Yoda's house, and like the little candle goes out. It's very sad. Uh, yeah. Alternate idea for that scene: he burns the whole thing. Sure, down, right? It's like no one can find <laughs> this. Like Yoda's notes, you know, his his, uh, <laughs> his Jedi you know, manifesto and whatnot. <laughs> I guess this is where Luke gets whatever book he gets in Last Jedi, probably the sacred text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the yeah Je- no, he finds he goes through like uh, Yoda's closet. He finds a clan robe. He's like, better just burn this whole house down. <laughs> no, he's got to go find his son. It's like a, it, it turns into a road movie. He's like, Left all that behind, I did. He's like a fucking cool. <laughs> Yoda guy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. There's a fucking That's awesome his catchphrase too. It's like yeah, don't. Uh, so when we cut back to the rebellion right here, there's a fucking awesome. Not often in Star Wars do you see this handheld camera shot following these two dudes into like yes. the meeting room. Mm-hmm. It's fucking great, and like they're in a tiny hallway, and then it just opens up to this huge set. They're all like gonna you know plan the attack and everything like that. And uh, this is where we meet Mon Mothma. Oh, uh, yeah. One of your classic, I've got six lines in Star Wars, and I've got a hundred pages of a novel somewhere about me because I'm a really kind of intriguing... Ca- She's an intriguing character. I would like more She's, Mon Mothma You know, in this what's movie. funny about that is I... And, you know, someone might correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, there wasn't m- much to my knowledge of her backstory being in, even in the EU. Oh, they really? They kind of kept her as like... Uh, you know, like a figurehead, yes, and just had her do these certain lines to move the story along. Sure, uh, what she does say, you know, blah blah blah. We've got the new Death Star plans. We know what's going on. We know the Emperor himself is going to be there. So this is an assassination attempt, by the way. Oh, this absolutely, is Project absolutely. Valkyrie shit. But it's like it's <laughs> like a uh, last second bonus thing to yeah. the plan. They're like, well, first we were just going to blow it up, but guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> and uh, many, many Bothans. Th- yeah, do it, do it. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Everyone's like, I don't give a fuck about those Bothans. Yeah, what? Who? Who are you what talking about? What are those about? spider people? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about spider people, Chris? Oh, dear God. Towards when in, in the Jedi, in, in, not in, well, we are talking about Return of the Jedi. Oh, yes. I don't need to say that every time, right? Uh, I, yes. <laughs> in Jabba's Go palace, on, there's a spider man walking around in the background oh, yeah. oh, with a, a big jar, like a jar with a head in it. And those apparently, like, Monks that put their heads in jars and they get like spider robot space bodies mead. And... That's very weird. I'd be into that. That's, that's a good end for me. It's being oh, a spider. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'd be, be into pretty it. cool. So, Steve, if you had to turn into a, uh, like one of the various gremlins, you'd be spider gremlin. Yes, for sure. Uh huh. What gremlin would you be? Oh, I'd be the uh, is the Tony Randall gremlin. Oh, that's yeah. You would yeah. be talking and fucking <laughs> smoking <Yeah>. cigars, <laughs> getting, drinking a, cognac. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I think I would also be like an electric gremlin. I would love to just kill people. <laughs> I, I'd be the veggie gremlin just because I'd be like, what the fuck is this doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Much like real life. <laughs> Who invited him? You could also I'm... eat yourself to death. <laughs> Wait, is there um so is there much story about these Bothans that got these second plans? That's like Rogue One Part Two, like, Rogue Two, man. It, <laughs> oh, too bad the fucking na- the namesake didn't live to see this plan. 
I don't I don't really know about about the Bothans. I nobody really wrote a in. like a EU they book have, about the it. The thing is, my interests aligned to different. Like there was so much EU. You were reading about bounty hunters, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like also and, the the emperor <laughs> is setting this all up anyway, so he must have been like, oh hey Bothans, do me a favor. And oh like, right, okay, yeah, cool. That's true. And then it's, it's like, now I'm going to kill you anyway. What are what are Bothans? Who are they? I don't. I just made that up. I, I think know. they're just an alien species. I think they're short. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, Go, okay. You look it up, but I'll while you look it up, I'll talk about General Crix Dean. Please. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh, well, you love him because he's got a ye- a bright yellow beard. Don't, don't I you? do? Which is by the way a fake beard. Uh, it, it looks. Oh, was fake he as hell. was he in disguise or <laughs> the actor was wearing a fake beard? He uh, he had like was clean shaven. But what's hilarious about this is like. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to need to put a fake beard on you because we've already made the action figure and it has a beard. Oh, no, yes, really? Yes. That's fucking... Yes! Dude, you can't reverse engineer these characters due to toy plans. And I was always like, this fucking, this fucking general dude, man, this guy's awesome. When I get older... This is I want to like gracefully enter my Crick's main Dean face. And then I looked it up and he's my fucking age. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> my fucking age now. Um we've got a look on the Bothans and holy mackerel. Okay, all right. Yeah, they are like goat people. Oh sweet. Ooh, let me see this. Oh, oh nice. Holy. It is some like dark crystal shit. I would be into watching the Bothans fuck. get it. <laughs> get, get it. it like fuck yeah no, like being like murdered oh, wow look at that like werewolf soldiers Pretty cool. that's yeah. like uh what's that movie there um oh lord pan's labyrinth <laughs> no it's not 13th war what's the movie with like the fucking like oh, the kang- kangaroo people, people? Yeah, yeah that's what that looks yeah, like. kind of looks like kangaroo jack <laughs> kangaroo people it they're gets, like kangaroo warriors yes. or something yes, girl a, no it's a movie that gets requested every last request month. oh the one with the yeah yeah, yeah the kitchen yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, i forget i forget the name the kitchen it's like a kid works in a kitchen and like he goes into a fantasy land yes and then okay. it's kangaroo warriors yeah 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 that's what that the name thing of it. looks like little yeah. monsters um so <laughs> that's the plan and general solo has signed up for it and again, this is another great. I mean, we, the gang has already been back together, but I love the whole like, well, I'm gonna go do this myself, and then mm-hmm. like Chewy is like, Marr! and he's like, well, it's pretty tough, buddy. Didn't want to speak for you. It's pretty great. Yeah, he's like, hey man, like it's all volunteer. Like I'm not demanding this Wookie goes anywhere with mm-hmm. me. The mighty Chewbacca. Right. Exactly. <laughs> By the way, General Crix Maydeen would later die aboard Dark Saber, which was a kind of like a hut funded plan to resurrect the death star but it was small and unstable oh hey, hey eric guess a what? way to use that technology uh, and... no he didn't <laughs> <laughs> that's eu nonsense <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> no you're right you're right i would prefer a world where crix Madeen is hanging out <laughs> here's a question uh because i don't know that there's an answer but maybe these two people are action figures and i just don't know it but when the emperor gets to the Death Star. I know what you're talking about. And he has this, like, something-something with Vader, and then it's like, fine, I'll go do it, fucking stupid boss. <laughs> and, like, he walks away. For whatever reason, they hold on the shot of the Emperor, and Ian McDiarmid turns around and starts talking to these two dudes, and I was like, yes! Who are these confidants? These, they're, they're, they're draped in velvet. Too. They're yes. like his cousins, I guess. Yes. Yeah, they're, like, sort of dressed like him, but, like, the, the hood is off. This reminded me of, like, in Rogue One, where we have Vader's, like house servant dude right he's dressed similarly so yeah i think yeah. it's kind of like this is the dude that puts on like the slippers oh fuck house. he's like so these two dudes were like the footmen yeah yeah <laughs> yes i'm sorry we were so late uh, we passed the bojangles you know they're not everywhere you can only <laughs> get them and certain planets have them the you chicken have to is pull amazing. over when you see one you know what i mean but thank you for coming. It's wonderful to see you. How have you been? We brought you biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> but I also like, we should get in the Emperor a little bit. I love I love the performance. The voice is out of this world great. Just it's great. And he's an alien. I'm sorry, what? Mr. No, Lucas. he's not. He's got yellow eyes and silver skin, dude. He's a fucking alien. So? Yeah, I can find one of you, a guy like looking like that on the, this Isle of Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's Santa God today. There's at least one. Yeah, and he also says that the force was turned on him. <laughs> but come on, Eric. He's got to be an alien. No, I, I, I've always, I always viewed it as, and you know, it's fine to have your own interpretations. I sure. always viewed him as like a... 
like an elderly George H. W. Bush or something. Like, yeah. Like like once an um, an old man gets that old, it starts looking alien. That's and what he's I always poisoned thought. with the force, I guess, as well as poisoned with the dark side. I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess that's how I always so, sort of thought of it as a kid. Was like, here's this dude. Okay, he's probably like really old. And he's evil, so he looks yeah. fucked up. But he's I always, like, I never crossed my mind that he was an alien. Because he's also a human supremacist. That's he's also true. Pro yeah. human. Yeah. You know, uh, so. Okay. The ad, the fucking emperor keeps on pinching admirals' butts, <laughs> and we can't stop it. I mean, he's, he's so just... old. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I also that, that was uh, I had to remember for a second that H. W. Bush was notorious for butt pinching. Oh, Got yeah. you again. Zinc. <laughs> Got you again. Uh, gonna uh, do it, Bar. Gonna do it. Learn yeah, this pinching. at CIA. Pinch, pinch. Oh, pinch number 623. That's rem- I remember them all. <laughs> Every single one of them. He can pinch, but he can't pinch a loaf by himself. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he also he can't can. pinch from beyond the grave, dude. <laughs> that's, that's ghost he's a, pinch. He's a force ghost now. <laughs> there. You but got I, burned in a pyre, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. I watched it on fucking CNN. But also the stupidity of the fucking episode three when he gets like, because you had the first two movies, he doesn't look like Emperor Palpatine, mm-hmm. he just looks like regular old Ian McDiarmid, and that stupid thing that the lightning gives him this fucking Dick Tracy head for fucking I the rest that. of the movie. I don't hate that. Really? Wow. That's one of those things where I'm like, Okay, your pa- like to show what the power does. Like, yeah. like other than like Luke falls over. Oh, great! Yeah, Force yeah, lightning yeah. makes you fall over. Fantastic. And I guess you know when it happens in episode three, because he's also like for the rest of that movie, he's like fucking kind of wet and shit. And yeah. like, I guess he's it's got the Bram Stoker's ba- Dracula hair going on up there. Yes, and I think that's just like, hey man, like this is a fresh wound, baby. Yeah. You know, and by the time we get to Jedi, it's like. It's he, it's scabbed yeah. over. That hair inevitably fell off. <laughs> yeah, you know, that sure. didn't last it's, long. I think it's a nice parallel to be like he's revealed himself as this evil mastermind, and now he looks disgusting. Sure, I okay. think it worked. I, I mean, I, I still just I can't recall. I mean, because those prequels were so long ago now. But like, did you just rewatch them? No, no, I know. But what I'm saying, like the first time I saw them, right? Mm. So like, were those movies really trying to hide that? Palpatine was the emperor. I think so a little bit. At least that's, it's a one. bad fucking job if that was an I attempt. Don't, I don't even get the point of even trying to hide yeah. it. Yeah. Or I mean, I, I feel like episode one was the most like that because it was just straight up. Yeah, you knew Darth nothing Sidious about it. But I think like once you get to Attack of the Clones, you're like, well, that, uh, he's clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's the same guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same list. actor. I have IMDb. You know what I mean? I feel like that's the one of the problems with the prequels is like, the Emperor, you know, Palpatine should have been more in the background. He could have been the Phantom Menace. And then, like, have Maul be your enforcer. Like, yes. Vader's your enforcer throughout this yep. trilogy. Yes. Yeah. You only see the Emperor when needed, which is really just in this movie. He yeah. was in Empire Strikes Back for five seconds. Well, and then he was in this movie. And by the way, you never know his fucking name. And that's great. He's just the Emperor, yeah. I me, prefer that. Give me some uh, Palpatine fakes, like Kieran Knightley and Rose Byrne. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. sure. Some other old English actors. <laughs> Oh, like Dukes, Michael, right? Go Michael Go is there? Michael Gambon. Yeah. <laughs> Don't shoot me. No, he's the one. <laughs> uh, but apparently, uh, they weren't Richard sure, Harris. They weren't sure if they're going to use McDarmid's voice, if they're, or they're just going to dub him like they always did. Yeah. And then he came in with this fucking smoking accent. And they're like, "That's pretty fucking bossed, dude." Wow, didn't see that coming, man. Let's just use it. I kind of shit my pants. You're kind of creeping me out, <laughs> Ian. <laughs> Dude, I, I, yeah, a little turtle escaped there, dude. What the fuck are you doing over there? Boop. <laughs> it's pretty cool that, like, when Darth Vader gets his moment of redemption and kills him, yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, from what it sounds like, what we're gonna episode do. Episode nine's gonna. Well, do. I've got, I've got a fan theory that I'll reveal at the end of this. Episode. Oh, I've got some fan theories too. Dude. Oh shit, shit. I got two. Uh, so this is they're they're flying towards Endor and they gotta like get the security clearance that you know so they can like fly down or whatever. Admiral Piet, man, we get Admiral Piet. <laughs> Love this fucking dude. Uh, it's an older code, sir, but uh, he, he, I was uh, just about to clear them. That, I was a little nostalgic. Remember the older codes, the, four, uh, the, the three four nine, the ones that ended three four nine. Those oh, were fun. I had the three four nine code for so long, and you know they changed it, and all of a sudden I had to get a nine one seven. Yes, sir. The old way is better. <laughs> uh, but like, oh, an old one. <laughs> that takes me back. Because Vader's, I guess, sensing a presence yes. with the ship. Yeah, you know, I've so endangered taking... the mission. I shouldn't have come. Yeah. Um, 
But shuttle Tiderian. Tiderian's a great name for a shuttle. It is a great James name. James Tiderian a Kirk, the shuttle. <laughs> What's also great about it, it's like, I mean, I know, you know, Vader's got the force, so I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he could have sussed it out, but it's like he's actually hearing Han Solo on this fucking radio. But yeah. parts for the uh, moon of Endor or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of pizzas here. They're getting cold. Hey, that voice sounds familiar. Wasn't that the guy that told us everything was OK two movies ago? <laughs> How are things up there? Well, no, I mean, I think the, the point is Vader knows he wants Luke yes, on the planet. Yeah, no, they're, he's, they're not oh, fooling anybody. Fair enough. And then, yeah, this is what I love. The whole, like... Um, this is the fly casual. Yes, line, this is what yeah. I, I... And I love the shot. We're, we're, like, drifting towards this Super Star Destroyer. Yes. We see the Death Star 2 in the background. It is a beautiful shot. And it's, a, and it's another kind of tracking shot, too. Where like we're just slowly mm. moving in. It's very, like, uh, 2001-y almost. But you don't get a lot in these movies, like nice flow. Yeah, like calm space footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so they land on Endor. We're like fighting with stormtroopers immediately, which is fucking great. Are these helmets that again? I gotta go back to what I oh, said. That part, like these, like I mean, they're, they're awesome. The I, scout I, I, troopers. Yes, but like, is this visor better for motorcycling or what? I think it keeps the sun out a little. Okay, a little oh. bit. I, I love these. This is these, by far by far my favorite stormtrooper type of uniform are the scout troopers. Yes, they're dope. Um, a little more mobile as well. Yeah. Um, we have uh, special edition helmets for uh, the people who signed up first for the Empire. <laughs> uh, they get the special ones. Uh, Steve, I want you to like go up to a uh, motorcycle cop in New York City and be like, do you really need a little bit of a different uniform to ride that bike, man? Do the same thing for the horse cops. Too. Oh, do you need those horse boots, horse cop? Yeah, Come what's on. wrong with regular shoes like the other cops? <laughs> And then start shoving them a little bit. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a little yeah. like, like finger in the chest. Oh, for yeah, sure. So yeah, I'd go far. Uh, I do love, yeah. Um, and we get the speeder bikes, and this is like, uh, it still looks impressive. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, it's obviously so much green screen, so much fucking rear projection. It's awesome. But I, oh, I also it. like the uh, semiotics of now Luke and. Uh, Luke and Leia are dressed exactly the same. Yeah. They're twins, everybody. Like, yep. you know, we're doing that. Totally. They're also the same height. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there's awesome shit in this chase. Luke fucking throws that dude against the tree brutally. So you know. many fuck. Oh, man, I was a fucking... I, I was a scout trooper on Endor. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Luke crazy Skywalker ever since. threw me against a tree. <laughs> I was going to rat out the whole rebellion. Now I'm, I look like this. <laughs> I saw my friends get eaten by teddy bears. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Busey could have been in this movie. He was working at the time. He, he could have been a rebellion. Been. Absolutely. He's got a bl- he could have grown a blonde beard. Oh, I'm Chris Madine. All right, now you're getting that Death Star. Here's what you do. You go right into the core. <laughs> Drive right in. Yeah, I do much better than that guy who looks like Thomas Lennon. <laughs> I love when he fucking nail. He like falls off. Luke falls off his speeder, pulls out the lightsaber, yes. and nails the one dude's fucking thing. This dude goes flying. Oh, it's what cool. I love about this whole sequence of like Luke on foot with this lightsaber and these dudes coming in on these fucking bikes. Yes, that's your fucking like knight versus dudes on horseback. Yes, yep, it's awesome and it's very samurai too. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's just that that kind of thing and. And Hamill looks great doing it. He's just really... I mean, like, I also love yeah. that that the Empire, for some reason, didn't believe in camouflage, and the Rebels did. Well, I think <laughs> it's, 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 it's hubris. It's yeah. sort of like the, how the Baron von Richthofen painted his plane red. Mm. You know, it's like, come and take it, motherfucker. <laughs> and they took it. I also love this, uh, this uh, camouflage gambit jacket that Han's wearing for most of this movie. Kind of yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, a bit jacket. of a duster. It's Dude. Han Solo <laughs> in a camo duster. Speaking of Han Solo, he's got a lot. So they have to blow up like this shield generator so the Death Star shield will fall and then the rebellion can fuck it up, right? That's the plan. Han Solo says to like a group of the rebellion people, because they're going to like split off right here, he goes... Like he tells them to meet at the shield generator at o three hundred, and I was like, three o'clock in the morning. What, <laughs> yeah, what are we doing here? What? And then it just made me think, like, what is the whole? Like, obviously they're not using a Roman calendar in Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, so I was well, like, what is the date situation? Maybe, How does time work? Maybe it's like three p.m. and then three a.m. would be some crazy other number. Meet me at Gleep Glock o'clock. Yeah, I, guess I think so. they got a shower and some coffee in that generator office. <laughs> <laughs> I really use some. I got to tell you, buddy. 
uh, Leia gets separated, and this is when we meet the Ewoks, Wicket by Warwick, da- Warwick Davis. And do you uh-huh. notice, by the way, the first introduction to Ewoks, man, is feet first. Oh, nice. Oh, Doing it for somebody. <laughs> Tarantino, Star yeah. Wars. Uh, <laughs> Ewok feet pics. <laughs> um, let me ask you guys this. Did you like his blinking eyes in your new version? I was okay. His eyelids with it. just going fucking ape shit. I was okay with it because you know what? It's an improvement. Those other things are just little light bulbs. You know, actually, and it's weird. I saw comments on the internet about our Empire Strikes Back episode, which is very good and on Patreon, by the way. But <laughs> someone pointed out there, like we were talking about, you were talking about like the updated effects in Star Trek, the original series, and how yeah. no one complains about that versus Star Wars. And the comments said that, well. In Star Wars, they're actually changing scenes. They're changing yeah. at lines. They're so it it, it is yeah. a little different. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a little exactly. more intrusive. Yes, it, it's, it's much not, more. It's not just cutaway shots. If it was just the eyelids, I don't think anyone would care. Yeah, no, I mean like changing lines. Sure, obviously, like Han not shooting first is really fucking dumb, but like. Still, it's not changing the outcome of the end of the story. You know what I mean? Uh, if this one, it changes the outcome. So you get, you get, you get Hayden Christensen. Well, I mean, yeah, but like you know, you know, the rebellion still fucking wins. <laughs> I guess. so. Quick round the horn. Uh, we're all uh, either born the year this movie came out or the mm-hmm. year after this movie came out. Sure. What do we feel about Ewoks? Because. I like Ewoks. I'm a fan of Ewoks. I'm a fan of this movie. This is this is where this is where uh, right. a lot of people get lost. Because so, like, a lot too of people cute by, too cute. by a lot, but, they, but I like Ewoks. They are killing people and they are trying to eat the main characters, so it makes them a little different. I'm pro Ewok as well, and I understand. Why some people wouldn't be pro Ewok? He's looking directly at me as he says this. <laughs> <laughs> Certain people with black hearts. There's plenty of people besides Chris Cabin that hate Ewoks. And I'm I, a I'm a reformed oh. uh, Ewok hater. <laughs> First reformed Ewok <laughs> hater. Totally, dude. I pu- I fucking put a thing of barbed wire around my head, and I was about Stra- to walk into a church, <laughs> strapping teddy bears around your chest. <laughs> No, I mean, I did. I used to think it was dumb. And then I think mm. it was Eric Siska, you know, one day, uh, years ago at this point, I, I'm long reformed. Uh, I think it was probably back when mm. we were doing those fucking terrible Ewok movies. Yes. That you said, like, these things are killing and eating human beings. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wait a second. And that's what I think is deceptively cool about them is like, yeah, they're all cute, which they totally fucking are. Of course. But also they are bloodthirsty, dangerous little monsters yeah, that have get, no problem that, taking life. We also life. see them shot in the streets, which we don't, well, <laughs> the forest streets, but like Gungans or whatever, I, you don't get that same type of God, violence. you wish some of those things were getting shot but in the fucking head. They're, they're not killing things. They're not dying. I don't see one weeping over a corpse. I feel like the Ewoks are more humanized than more more or less a lot of these other aliens are. That's going away from what my problem with them is. It's not that they're cute. I kind of like the way they look. Yeah. They look fine. I mean, my problem is that they are kind of are just violent maniacs. <laughs> like, there's no, like... Almost every other species has some kind of like respect. Like you're taking orders from a fucking crawfish. <laughs> yeah, like that's like respect, and like I like that about this series. That yeah. it, w- whatever you look like, whatever you might, you have some respect. Your species has some respect. There's no like wise Ewok who like they have to. They have to give There's them like chief. the baby fucking story of what they've what? done before, yeah. like, and they're all sitting down like. <gasps> well, I think part of it that's fascinating though is like you can kind of think that. Until uh, the Empire arrived oh, yeah. and colonized the moon or whatever, like they never saw a thing that wasn't an Ewok, right? Minus those dumbass fucking movies. Like, don't count that. I'm just talking about the, you know, the original trilogy. Exactly. Here, They're you know. violent insurgents now against the. Uh, I'm, I'm acting like the Empire's in the right, but <laughs> <laughs> and I will defend. You know, man, the Empire had a point. The Empire had a point. <laughs> <laughs> a point. I will defend that storytelling scene where all the Ewoks are gathered around, listen to C-3PO go through the whole like, Nooch Vader. Yeah. Ah. I love because that you learn that C-3PO comes with speakers, by the way. <laughs> I love it. There is an Ewok hitting a fucking pipe in that fucking Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. That, that, that is like not a tobacco. That, that Ewok's getting fucking you might, hot. You might, might have a light up here, dude. Yeah. This, this door is like really getting me someplace, and this is only going to help me get there quicker. Oh, shit, dude. Vader. Is he like a bear, you think? Yeah, he's like a big furry black bear, man. Better or 
better or worse if these were Wookiees, which they were supposed to be, which I think is, had to be a budget thing. Like a Wookiee costume costs like, let's call it a grand. Right. I've, an I've, Ewok I've, costume I've, costs 500 bucks. Like that's how that works. I, th- I would say 250. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think it takes four it takes four Ewok costumes to make one Chewbacca. That's all. I'm saying. George said something about like the because because he showed Chewbacca being smart and able to pilot a plane, and he wanted a more primitive society. That's why it was changed to Ewoks. Mm. And I will say, I kind of prefer Ewoks because. Um, just because you don't expect them to win, I no, feel like exactly, if there's, a, yeah. there's a thousand Chewbaccas hanging out there. I'm like, the Empire better get the well, fuck I, out. I, of I'm, yeah. I'm the Empire's like, wait, are there, that's the Wookiee planet. No, we're going somewhere yeah, yeah. else. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's, I also love like the whole like the low tech versus high yes. tech. Yeah. You know, and they pull it off with fucking logs. The and logs rocks. taking out the they're ATSTs the fucking Viet are Kong, awesome. dude. Yep, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Totally. They are the Viet Cong. Also. <laughs> North Viet- Vietnamese, very cute. Yeah, very, very I'm, cool. I'm saying you give me one scene with the the king of the Ewoks, voiced by Gene Hackman. <laughs> there is there was there is a chief of this tribe, but he's as yeah. dumb as the rest of them. Listen, I'm and, out of to you, Kevin. You just don't understand the language, man. You can't say that they're dumb. They're a bunch right. of violent maniacs. So George, I'm doing a voice. Can I smoke a cigar? Can I smoke a cigar? Is this for Lowe's? No. <laughs> Okay, uh, but you know what? Could you give this Ewoks a saxophone? <laughs> <laughs> so let's this say like, Ewok is ripping up his head at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Would that got to be here? The Empire's still here. Does this make it better for you? Yeah, I like this. Okay. This is. I just need one wise one that I understand. Like, okay, they're not just violent maniacs. There is somebody there who's calm and normal. Also, well, that's you. No, but they show that to you in the movie, Chris. Because when the one dies and the other one's like, "Come on, let's go," and he realizes he's dead. There's no violent, maniacal anything there. He's fucking devastated that his comrade is dead. But then a bunch of other ones are just dying en masse. (laughs) I I gotta say, the one thing I I, I always disliked about the Ewoks, and I think I've said this on our previous episodes, but they're now like fucking 12 years old, is the flitting tongues. They always gross me out. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's my positive note. (laughs) Imagine what they could do. I know, they could eat the ass out of an ass. (laughs) Yeah. I picture an Ewok stuck up a fucking donkey's backside, dude. I'm thinking about there's an alien species named Ass. Yeah. Mm. And they have asses that you eat. So Le- Leia's fast friends with this guy, right. right? Oh, she fucking shoots a stormtrooper off of a thing right here. And you see Wicket and he's just like, yep, yep, new Chatnagu. Like, totally like, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Those guys killed my entire family. <laughs> Oh, what is the thing? Oh, so this is hilarious. Is Chewbacca gets them all caught by the Ewoks because he's starving? Yes. <laughs> There's like the little trap set, and they're like, don't touch that. No, no, Chewbacca, no, nope, we're going to have lunch afterwards. Don't touch that. And that, it's, that's bait. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. bait, says Mad Max. <laughs> I do love uh, Hans, like, take it out your stomach. He's just like so, <laughs> it's like a little bit old. Because it's kind of interesting, like this movie, like, Everyone's a little bit old. It's been six years, but now this is a kind of older Harrison Ford. You know what I mean? So it's just, yep. it's we're getting to Patriots games. A little, <laughs> we're closer to Patriots games than we are uh, American Graffiti, for sure. If yeah. I just threw a rabbit outside the door of the Millennium Falcon, would you just go get that <laughs> out there in the colder space? Well, see, that's it's what it's very ironic because Han Solo is yelling at Chewbacca for thinking with his stomach and Chewbacca is always yelling at Han Solo for thinking with his dick. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry it's not a fucking that sexy lady. <laughs> I was hungry. I'm a fucking Wookiee. You know, every day I'm supposed to eat a horse, right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If I wanted to fuck the corpse, would that be better? <laughs> Mash this against my genitals? You know, we never eat in these movies. Does anyone notice that? It's only fucking power bars sometimes and I am a Wookiee, and I need meat. <laughs> Three-quarter portions. <laughs> <laughs> so they get caught by the Ewoks yes. and, you know, taken into the village. They're yeah. going to eat we Han get Solo, which R- I love. R2's buzzsaw in this scene as oh, well. Oh, right, Yep, yeah. totally. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I fucking love it. And they're like, hey, man, maybe don't do that. Uh, and the C-3PO has a line where he's like, I'm uh, I'm not programmed to impersonate a deity, which is pretty funny. It is funny. I, like I, loved, I just love the idea that whoever was programming him was like, you know what? Better make sure he doesn't think he's a god. I I, I love how this all comes together because obviously Luke has magic powers yes. and then can can make against C three PO's consent can yes. make him look like a god to try to get these uh, yeah 
pretty these, sweet. These little space apes. And I also control. I do like the, the storytelling scene because it, at some point you have to acknowledge not in not just at some point but like acknowledges the last of these movies and we're kind of just like it's the only time it's we're cool over like hey isn't it kind of like it's been a fucking it's been a journey you guys yeah it's a it's a you know previously on Star Wars yes, yeah, which is sure. kind of nice also it happens right I think it's it's Hans it's got to be Han Solo yelling at one of the Ewoks but he's not the only one who says it. Just the notion that people in these movies are telling other people to take it easy. Yeah, I oh, love yeah. it. I love it. Just hey, take it easy. Uh, this is <laughs> we're in he... space, but take it easy. Luke and Leia have a scene here where he finally reveals that he is her brother, and right, great Carrie Fisher acting of like. I mean, it's a hard thing to sell, but she's like, I've known. I've all, oh, you know, somehow I've always known. Wait, also, maybe it's the pipe that I got from that Ewok. But yeah, yeah this is pretty <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, but you were still kissing him. I yeah. kind of like the design of this whole Ewok city, the tree city. It's so awesome. I would fucking munch some acorns up there, too. Totally. Where, where did she get this fucking Mamas and the Papas dress that she's wearing? Like, Did the Ewoks make it for her? Did she have it? Like, Great question. She's yeah. two, six sizes. Wow. Well, it's kind of like a Mary all, dress, huh? All, <laughs> all, the, uh, all the Empire's clothes are made on the Forest Moon of Endor, oh, as you oh. know. Oh. Very cheap labor. Oh, <laughs> that would yeah. be interesting if we visited like a textile farm. <laughs> the way that Luke, the, <laughs> like the, if we just like yeah. saw them making the imperial <laughs> sure. uniforms. Oh, for sure. The next building over, they're cast and all. Uh, because all the otherwise, the tiny people. hats, these fucking folded hats. If I don't see how these uniforms are made, man, how are these people on the Star Destroyers wearing them? It's I made by Ugnats, of course. Well, God I damn it. I don't. I need to see where they came from. That uniform didn't train properly. <laughs> also, like, I'm sorry, but if you're saying this guy's Admiral Piet, I'm gonna have to see him from trainee on up. Well, speaking of admirals, did you? I was reading today that Admiral Akbar used to be Grand Moff Tarkin's driver. What? Yeah, Whoa, that's what I read. Excuse me. <laughs> Moving on up. Is this this was in um is this in the new Tarkin novel that came out the other year? It was it was just on the IMDb trivia. So Do I'm you think, think like Tarkin just... Tarkin fired him and he was like, <laughs> okay. Oh, I get it now. All right. It's on now, you fucking son of a bitch. I haven't said shit this whole time I've been driving you around, but let me tell you, buddy, you fired the wrong fucking squid person now. Oh, okay, yeah. You know what? I could hear when you fart back there. You think I can't? I could hear it, and you are always farting. And I can read lips, you fucking racist. <laughs> the, the divider goes up. Yes, Akbar, I'm uh, playing a number of concerts across the South. <laughs> oh, my God. This is how you eat a fucking pizza, Tarkin. Look at this. He's death starring a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he gets called by he gets called as Grand Marf Tarkin naked with another guy in a fucking in a bathhouse. And he's just Space like, YMCA. <laughs> all right, listen, uh, I don't, I'm not going to judge you at all. It's all right. A crawfish police officer pulls them over. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, fucking Green Book with Admiral Ackbar. Squid and Grand Book, Mark. dude. Squid Book. Thank you, Squid Book. God damn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, fine. You can come to my house for Christmas. <laughs> Uh, Some human uses Akbar's class. He throws it in the garbage. But he had a lot to learn. Okay, yes. he had a lot to learn. Yes. Oh, yeah. Best picture winner, Squid Book. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, my father has it. I have it, mm. and my sister has a great delivery here yes. from Mark oh, Hamill. Yes, also, for sure. um, so Luke surrenders to the Empire. He's like, "This is how it's got to go, man." Because my dad, like dad's chill. coming. I do kind of love how chill Leia is in this scene. She's just like, "Hey, man, it's okay." Well, they were hot boxing that fucking Ewok tent. Yeah. Dude, they're all stoned. I think she's just like waiting for him to come out to her. She's like, "It's okay. You can tell me anything, right, whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever it is. I'm not gonna judge you. It's cool, man. And I'm really high right now because they had all the flaps in that hut closed. <laughs> but not gonna judge you when when he says like." Darth Vader's my father. She's like, you father? <laughs> you. It's like she, her face just goes so gross. She's just like, that's disgusting. Your no. father. Oh, sorry. I mean, your father. Mm. Yeah. And then oh. when she finds out they're twins, 
she's not she's suddenly you, not grossed out anymore. Yeah. It's okay when it's Darth Vader's my father. <laughs> yeah. When he's someone else's father, it's gross. Yeah. And uh, also there's this, the lines about her mother, which uh, get ruined by the prequel trilogy again, which is just like, <sighs> I remember. This was particularly dumb. I remember my mother. She was always she was beautiful. She was kind, but she was always very sad. And like. She you, you died the second. Now, that, in, now, I was thinking, like, is this the adopted mother she's talking about? Bail Organa's? There's whoever? ways to cram it in. It's either the adopted mother or she's force sensitive and just has memories of her mother no matter what. Right. You know Which what I mean? Luke does not contain any memories of his past as so a that child. Make, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, yeah, Star uh, Wars. <laughs> I mean, at what point does he just go to Obi-Wan? Like, all right, Obi-Wan, one more question. One more question. So I get. Uh, I have to live at a fucking moisture farm with Mr. Asshole and Mrs. Nice Lady <laughs> and fucking she becomes a princess? Like, how about I'm a prince, too? How about yep. that? Yep. You know, Ben, why don't you just put this on a junk drive for me? <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking thing. How about that? And I will go through it at my leisure. <laughs> Shit. I need my Ancestry.com because I, my whole fucking lineage is fucked. No, Yoda, I'm not going to tell him that his dad was a Nothing. Or his great grand, his grandfather was nothing. What was it that the fucking metachlorians impregnate her? Oh yes, yes. Like listen, it's uh, to be quite honest, I still don't believe it. There, I said it. It, it, it. It's never sat quite right with me. The tale that is lady told. was spitting tales. What is the, there is mention in Phantom Menace? So it's like I think it's from Qui Gon Jinn. Is like there was a there was a Sith so or a you know Jedi or whatever he says. Was so strong, and they're like, so, aren't they sort of hinting that it was Palpatine that did it? Oh, oh no, no, I know. I, I think I it was just the Force itself impregnated. It's an immaculate. It's conception. supposed to be like Jesus Christ, like Darth Vader. Is but even Jesus that was Christ. like God, though. God right. was like, hey, Bing Bing. <laughs> well, yeah, he got in there. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! My, my Jesus, my dad and my grandmother were owned <laughs> by a flying something. Okay, by a flying mechanic. But like the immaculate conception angle, like Vader is exactly what Jesus Christ would be if he fell to the dark. Side, yeah, that makes right? sense. Yeah, that does. He's more machine now than man, that mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> He's strangling people with the force, using lightning. Uh, yes. Smo you were smoting? The Lord Jesus Christ no longer has lungs, but a radiator put inside <laughs> his chest. Inform the commander that Lord Christ's shuttle has arrived. <laughs> It's just a huge metallic cross lands on the docking bay. It's <laughs> turning people's blood into water, and that's really fucking them up for good. Lando's like, wait, I can't eat meat on Fridays. This deal gets worse all the time. <laughs> uh, so so Luke, yes, you know, the, the elevator opens, and Luke is there to meet Vader, and it's like, we caught this guy. He fucking surrendered like an idiot. And I, I do love the jungle aesthetic in this movie. This is a, I love the, forest, the scenes yeah. here of this, like, yeah. waiting pad. Yes. You know, the little just, like... I, like patio. Oh, that they I love it here. when Vader shuttle lands lands on this platform. You see like the ATAT -AT walking around yes. in the forest and just the corridors, and you get the trees. It's like the Pacific stuff. Northwest, dude. I, I love it. I, I, I it love does. It. <laughs> I think the Force Moon of Endor was in Ted Danson's apartment and fucking Three Men and a Baby. <laughs> Uh, this is where he's, he's like, ooh, uh, well, you're grown quite a bit. I like the black outfit, dude. Looking good in the black outfit. <laughs> Looking sharp, sonny boy. <laughs> oh, you made your own lightsaber. Pretty cool. Green. You know, oh, interesting color. Oh, oh, okay. You're your own man. <laughs> I get it now. I don't want to be too pushy here. Oh, that outfit? It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you're doing. Uh, great line. It, it, this is a hilarious thing where... <laughs> He's like Luke is like, all right, man. Like, I know there's good inside of you. I can feel the conflicting, you know, emotions mm -hmm. going on. Like, you have the power to whatever. And he's like, no, you know, Anakin Skywalker is gone. Like, you truly, I'm, you know, with yeah. the with the Emperor or whatever. And he, Luke says, then my father is truly dead. And there are two stormtroopers right behind him, like feet away. And I feel like those dudes are like. Wait, what did that guy just say? <laughs> the boss is related to him. Oh, shit. Hey, the boss got laid. I told I, somebody, Sully owes me 20 bucks. I'm like, he had to have sex before that accident. I know it. I fucking know it. <laughs> Those two dudes dropped dead instantly. Or like Vader just like stopped. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> you yeah. didn't hear anything. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, so then we. this is where uh, Lando and the Rebels are all in position. Kind of a fucked up thing right here is they're getting ready to go to hyperspace to go to Endor. Yeah. And 
uh, Akbar is like, and this is the cut, and I don't think this is a this is a uh, special edition fuck around here. Akbar is like. Prepare to go to hyperspace on my mark, and then it's cut. Lando Calrissian fucking punches it. Yeah. Like, he waits for no fucking squid <laughs> no, yeah, person, man, let me tell you. <laughs> so they get in the, they're in position, whatever, and then this is where one of the Ewoks, because they're like trying to figure out how they're going to get into the thing, and yeah. they're like, there's no way we can penetrate this, uh, you know, the shield generator uh, building there or whatever. And then this Ewok's like, why don't we go around back, everybody? <laughs> and there's a cool exit in the back, dude. Also, by the way, uh, Leia and Han have some strife here because she, because the movie won't tell him immediately, like, because he, he confronts her right after it. She's like, you know, what's going on? Oh, and, right. And he's like, I can't tell you. I just, I just can't. I mean, she's also devastated by this news. Yeah. Kind of but makes you some can tell him, huh? yeah. your boyfriend, Luke Skywalker. And she's like, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, I think it's Han Solo has the line here. Uh, Back door, huh? Good idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, this is when they're uh, and now like we we Luke is brought to the Emperor. Uh, the Emperor is like, you know what, dude? I don't need. I don't even want my Imperial Guard here. Mm-hmm. You know what, you guys? Which is something that Snoke was like, no, you guys are always here. Right. Yeah. Le- now, learn from that last fuck around. What I love about this em- the Emperor's throne room is it's in a tower. Yes. It's like a little needle. Yeah, sticking out of the Death Star. It's pretty cool. It's a it's a nice looking office. You got the great window right mm-hmm. there. There's a l- too many barrels in the room for my taste. I, think, I think he's still moving in. You Previous, know, he's got a lot of shirts in there. Previous tenant, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Oh, they were supposed to clean all this out. I can't believe it. Look at all the filth left behind by the last tenant. And it smells like ape shit in here. Grand, what is that Grand, about? Grand Moff Kong was <laughs> looking over the uh, construction. It smells like apes and Italians in here. <laughs> uh, awesome thing here. They're like, how are we going to get all these stormtroopers away from the door? This Ewok fucking steals the speeder. And yes. Like, hey, stormtroopers, they're stealing your motorcycle. Oh, fuck. I got to kill another little bear today. I killed like 12 yesterday. <laughs> keep t- I keep having to send all these video messages to my daughter, and she's like, Daddy, let me see the bears. And I'm like, uh, maybe tomorrow. Because I keep killing them. And then the Ewok's like, my hiney is clean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a, obviously this is a podcast about toilet paper bears. Yes, Big, it's a running theme. Yeah, we love we love those Charmin bears. They're, they're the toilet they're the paper bears. They're I good. love the uh, toilet paper bears. Well, I do love them, of course. The Charmin Luke, Luke bears. uses his lightsaber to get some bear, stuck bear shit out of uh, Ewok's ass. Now it smells like burnt hair. Oh. I think we've said it before, but I'd be floating turds. What do you mean? With the force, you know, just like, oh. might help get them out, but mm. also just like, I don't know, like help compost or something. Just Never stop. constipated a Jedi is. <laughs> I mean, maybe he does that on the island, but I don't think he's doing it this early. Oh, I you think know what? That, that yeah, he doesn't care if the porgs are watching him. Steve, dude. imagine when you have your explosive diarrhea. Uh-huh. <laughs> you could, Steve like, Sadek's <laughs> patented explosive diarrhea. You could like use the force to like plug it up. You know what I mean? I don't want to plug nothing, dude. I well, want to let that yeah, shit got, fly. You can let that damn. Well, some te- well, when you're maybe it would help you hold it in until you found an appropriate receptacle. That makes sense. Oh, I, I was gonna sure. say, yeah, thinking about Jedi's going to the bathroom. So Luke, <laughs> Yoda dies. He's picking up all the books and he opens a closet. It's just filled with jars of urine and old oh, newspapers. Yes, dude, he's an old man. He'd been living by himself. Future the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda's just got these really long fingernails. <laughs> It's not clean, it's not. Get in, I said. <laughs> Hold the lightsaber out. Uh, there's, so what I... The relationship here with the Emperor and Vader and Luke in this room for a large portion of the end of this movie mm-hmm. is like a really embarrassing bring your child to work day situation mm-hmm. because like Vader comes in and he's like, oh, hello, Emperor. Here is my son, Luke Skywalker. And this dude is mouthing off to your boss immediately. <laughs> and Vader, like, because the Emperor is like, how about now? Strike me dead. La, 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 la. Yeah. He's like, no, I'll never turn. You're a fucking scumbag. And they just, they keep cutting to Vader looking like, shut up. Here's the thing, Emperor. Like, <sighs> you've got to lay the ground. Like, do like a six week course to be in the, and like, don't start with the, like, you got to kill your father. You got to kill anybody. No, 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 no. Hey, she's pretty hot, huh? I was like, well, yeah, she kind of is. You know what I mean? You yep. do that. Like, hey, you know, 
A lot of a lot of money in the empire. Is there oh. really? Yeah, we we uh, we pay mm-hmm. pretty well here. <laughs> nope. It's better just to do thirty minutes of negging. <laughs> yes, it's, <laughs> it's never gonna work, Emperor. Your your tact is totally off. We're yeah. gonna beat you. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your rebel friends. I love it. I love that line of like, oh, the sh- the shield generator will be quite operational <laughs> when your is- friends arrive. He is so fucking sassy. I love it. It's From like- your pitiful little band. <laughs> he is so sarcastic and d- <laughs> awesome. The operational that is where you see like just the like uh, the first dribble of pre cum he felt <laughs> in years. It's like it would be quite operational. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Didn't know that. Still worked. Been a long time <laughs> since <laughs> I've seen you. The force has awakened. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, we are awful people. They all show all the all the uh, the uh, the rebellion joins the a plot. Welcome back to the movie. They Absolutely. they zip in wedge and, Antilles. Uh, but um, and they know uh, great Lando realization. He's like, oh, uh, is the shield down? It's like, oh, we and uh, his his. His co-pilot, Yum Yum, or whatever this dude's name is. Oh, dude, the guy who's high all the yeah. time? Yeah. Neen Nub? Neen Nub? Nub, yeah, the I guy with the flappy face there. Yeah, he's uh, awesome. He's great. And he's, he's like, he's, oh, we, we're... He's in the new trilogy, too, I believe. We're being jammed. Uh, and he's like, well, why would they be jamming us if they don't... Oh, it's a trap. And then, oh, oh, Only no, Lone no. Star would give me the raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> Spaceballs. And then, of course... Uh, it's a trap. Oh, it's sure. a trap. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the the quote on many a t-shirt and meme. <laughs> um, it's I good, love. It's a good one. They're trying to get like these charges set or whatever for the the shield generation yeah. station, and Harrison Ford like. The thing goes tits up like immediately, and this guy runs out and he's like, Hey, what are you doing here? And Harrison Ford hucks this bag of explosives at this dude and he falls backwards yes. over that ledge. Yes. It's yes. a great railing kill. That's uh, Ben Burt, the uh one of the Foley dudes from oh. the, these movies. Uh, do you funny. think he did the Foley work for his own death? Yeah, I, apparently he's repli- he's replicate he's trying to do uh, a riff on the the Wilhelm scream. Oh. Uh, which he helped make famous. That's something. Yeah. I, you, the, the one thing about the shield generator compound is the matte painting never truly worked for me. It always felt like a really small room. Like really? it does not feel like it goes always, on forever. Yeah, I always I liked it anyway. I think yeah. there's such this charm. There's oh, there like an old Hollywood charm to those matte paintings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when I uh, miss matte paintings, me to too. be honest. It's a huge ambush, obviously. We get ATSTs, by the way, which are not. They're not in Empire, right? Am I, correct me. Uh, there, there's only one AT. in the background oh, of oh, Hoth. Oh, oh. The, you don't really see it very. Uh, they're not like a major player yeah. in Empire. They're a major player in this. Wait, you're talking about Atz? Atz? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. The pronunciation of at at that some people do. I don't see how it carries over for ATST. Atst. Yeah. What did the toy commercials say? It's <laughs> great because that's the fucking Shit. that's the Bible you know of it all. I don't all. know if they made the ATST or I watched some toy commercials in preparation for this. In preparation for this. Yeah, <laughs> Prepar- <laughs> while I was packing a bolt. No, no, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no, in preparation for this episode, I was watching that. And I didn't notice them even selling them. Maybe it was too intricate of a design. I don't know. Weird. That's surprising. You could make a shitty but toy out I of it. I might have just missed one. Right. Yes. right cloud right. of uh, preparation. Yes, Vader. <laughs> Send in the at. At. God damn it. A- ATSTs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking finally. He's been. He's been on this tear about at at it's really stupid. <laughs> you never want to say anything because he'll fly right off the handle. But <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy, at at what the fuck? He had this really big one that he kept on climbing an at ert. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, uh, so everyone's captured right here. And the funny thing is that guy that goes over the railing is the only dude that gets murdered at that <laughs> yes. point, which is really funny. Uh, yeah, they get captured. The Ewoks save them. The, the, now we've got a big old fucking fight. The 3PO distraction here, it's great because he stands up like Bugs Bunny, like, hey! Yes. <laughs> and then hides behind a tree immediately. He's dressed like a sexy stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that gets it the worst neck to job of the hut is the stormtrooper that gets the bola tie around his neck. That's pretty yeah. fucking badass too. <laughs> oh, <fuck, yes. laughs> yeah, totally. Again. It's like throwing up blood in that mask. 
It's the brother-in-law and the godfather. Dude, so, much, so much garroting in this movie. Uh, I mean, you have to be embarrassed if you show up at Star Wars Hell and you've been killed by a fucking teddy bear. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty bad. That's, that's like, like so, uh, so how did you uh, die, Stormtrooper 6847? Oh, I was beaten to death by a tiny creature and his bear hands. <laughs> uh, I, w- I died in the Battle of Taluin. I died fighting against a Sarlacc. Um, fighting against this, a Sarlacc? Uh, uh, Bear threw uh, rocks and a string at me, <laughs> and uh, that that was it. That was no, it for me. Oh, Wookie torn apart by Wookies, man. <laughs> yep. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. it's scary. Lie, right? It was scary down there, limb from limb. I will tell you what. You know what? I was alive the whole time. Felt it all. Fucking sucked. Real <laughs> gruesome death. And I didn't scream at all. Cause I'm pretty fucking tough. Oh, yeah. see, that's the thing is, you die on this Endor battle. You just say the mighty Chewbacca did it. Uh huh. Yeah, yes. that's it. Keep raising uh, <laughs> Chewbacca's stake in hell, dude. I don't know if anyone calls you on it. Like, hey, no, no, I also died on Endor, and I saw you get killed by an Ewok. Well, it was a bunch of fur. It happened so fast. <laughs> I just assumed it was. Chewbacca. I mean, we all had. I mean, they all have helmets on. How would you even know? <laughs> and then, late, you know, we got back, and it's the throne room, and it's like, mm-hmm. you want your weapon, don't you? Mm-hmm. You, why don't you just grab it? And then, like, Luke's got to be like, wait, so am I not allowed to use a lightsaber in the light side? Like, what are we talking here? Ben, yeah. Ben, <laughs> I need some clarification here. <laughs> now we talked about the junk drive with all the info on it. The, the, uh, the ghost of Ben Kenobi's putting a ghost tea kettle on, like, <laughs> not heeding his call, like, mm, to voicemail. <laughs> Learnings off of Ben. <laughs> There's a great shot of Harrison Ford. Like he's, I don't know if he's like Han is particularly in trouble at this moment or whatever, but he sees a group of Ewoks like descend on a, a stormtrooper or two yeah. and fucking maul it to mm-hmm. death. And they show Harrison Ford and he's like, good. God, yeah. like the fucking look on his face. He's so disgusted by it. I love the ATSD stuff. I love the the pile of logs making them trip up and fall. The the uh, model work of the ATSDs oh, yeah. is, is really cool. One of my favorite things is the the two logs. Oh yeah. man, yeah. that's the awesome. Head. It's like Final Destination. Yeah, the um, squish. Han Solo does get some cool kills in here. He shoots some of these dudes in the heart. He shoots like one guy in the head. Oh yeah, the headshot. Yeah, <laughs> and Leia's shooting people as well. Yeah, um, and Chewbacca commandeers an ATSD, complete with Tarzan scream. By the way, right? I think the, the two guys. The, the Tarzan the, scream is a bit much for me. I'll be honest. It's kind of dumb. I'm I was okay like, well, all right. There was a uh, one of the one of the pilots we already mentioned was the director of the film. Oh, okay. the, yeah. one of the guys, Chewbacca. Murders. Yeah. And so what you have I, there in this I the, believe, I believe. The bridge of this ATST is two Ewoks and a Wookiee. And Chewbacca, you see that shot, definitely closes up that top hatch. Yes. Fuck that thing's gotta smell. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god. Just three There's ventilation. People. I hope so, dude, because otherwise, yikes. Just gross, sweaty, bloody. You gotta o- open those eyes up, right? <laughs> are you saying that their high knees are not clean? They didn't have a chance to clean him. They didn't go to the little Endor Lake and wash their ass out. Oh, like the Imperial uh, uh, embargo of Charmin toilet paper? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. They're not a sponsor. No. We're a Cottonelle company. <laughs> oh, then everyone's high knees are dirty. <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, oh. the, the rebellion is kind of holding their own against the... Uh, 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 the the weapon is quite operational. We do see a, a super oh. laser blast some big mm-hmm. fucking ship. And remember, IG-88 is the the core of the Death Star at this point. Oh, is, is, no, is See not. our Gleep Glossary oh, on Patreon oh, for IG-88 right. um, oh, at right. the $8 level of Patreon. For more on that, that's <laughs> all I'll say here. I, I do love... Um, uh, we do get a cool... I like to see the, the blast. You don't see Akbar be like, Oh fuck! <laughs> it's, it's a trap, and like, oh shit! You know what? We're fucked. We're t- just well fucked here. Yeah, turn it around. This is pretty bad. What, what's What's great about the Those whole fucking mo- boffins? I told you about the boffins. <laughs> I told you about the boffins. Great details. The emperor leaked that information, yeah. so he made it look like boffins uh, did, and he probably killed them anyway. Yeah, for just sure. Just to make it look good, dude. This emperor is like Ray Donovan, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Because he's just like creating all these little scenarios to fix things, and like he's right. operating behind Trying the scenes. Like, like, yeah, I fucking leaked that info. <laughs> and his dad is also John Voight. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking totally checks out. 
Oh, when the rebel fleet turns away from the Death Star and the and like Lando's just like you know go right for those star destroyers yes. and like like well, we won't we won't last long against it. We'll last more against them than the Death Star. Yeah, that Death moment. Star is because now there's a couple. There's a, yeah, that's a Death a Star. One. Absolutely. He uh, does say Tie Fighters for the first time ever in the series. Somebody calls it a Tie Fighter as well. Oh, Lando yeah. says it. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh. those Tie I Fighters. I do. I do love when this fleet unleashes this huge amount of Tie Fighters. Yes, it's a beautiful. It's pretty seeing awesome. them take up the whole space. Yeah. It's a lot of. It's a cool. It's a cool space battle, you know. And you got Wedge Antilles doing a lot of stuff. Apparently, there was a lot of female. Soldiers, pilots that were cut from the movie for some reason, like one what? or two or three. Really? Yeah, and I don't know why. I think. Well, Luke- they wanted people to enjoy the movie. Uh, they wanted oh, people to enjoy the movie. All those marshes, I mean, women have to go. <laughs> I think <laughs> everywhere I go, I see Marsha. There was never an, an official explanation, but he said, or somebody had said that it's possible that they would be afraid. They they didn't want to watch women get killed in battle, but like that's what happens. Yeah. I it's, mean that's that's maybe fair because they were talking about the I read about the whole Ula the tw- Twi'lek dancer that gets eaten by the Rancor uh, and they didn't want to show it because they thought it it would be um, turn people off yeah yeah can't get a fucking R rating on this thing man we need the kids to come so they'll buy the toys and make me a billionaire oh they, well the dancer uh, on the on the toy it's called a Marsha <laughs> um, and she's the one who yeah she, uh, you can pair oh, yeah. her with and, the <laughs> And funny enough, it's also the Rancor is now also called Marsha in the new special edition. <laughs> this is a big tattoo on its head that says Every, Marsha. That's, no, no, it's, it's Emperor Ashiv uh, Marsha Palpatine, <laughs> <laughs> a.k.a. Darth Martius. <laughs> Yeah, so Chewie's riding around this fucking ATST. So awesome! I do love seeing the one ATST shoot the other ATST. It's pretty fucking cool. Yes. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you you want the interior from that other one? Like, hey, why is Frank turning that? What the what the? Hey, hey! Uh, and two ATST. <laughs> oh, uh, this, at this point, R R2 is gonna you know you got to He's got to fuck fuck a door to open mm, it. Oh right, yes. it's like the 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 control panel's like all fucked up. It's like, well, you got to get the other one to Brings come hack out it. His fucking hot cock. <laughs> fucking slides it into that door. Again, though, like R two is off on some ridge somewhere with three PO, and he just wheels away, and I'm like. There's just dirt and fucking sticks everywhere. How is this little thing rolling over there? Well, it does, but then he's pounding that fucking door, <laughs> hitting the back wall of the door. And then oh my God. he gets shot by a stormtrooper and yeah. flies back, and all of his doohickeys fly out. That's what the one addition I really liked uh, on the Disney Plus is that when he's when he's pounding the the board oh, there, mm-hmm. uh, is oh, the, the, just wheeling it in. Is the speaker start playing Barry White? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought that was really a nice touch. Ain't good love for your love door. <laughs> Never gonna give you up. You Never don't. gonna stop. <laughs> 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 and then Han Solo has to try to hotwire the door. It doesn't work so good. It closes the other door. That is a great bit of comedy. It's just like, I got it. I got it. And oh. then it's another huge door closes. Fucking great. I got R2 sloppy seconds. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> is this oil? What's on my hands? Oh, actually, um, at this point, Leia gets shot in the arm. Yeah. And I didn't notice this because I, uh, 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 I was watching a version of this movie that was remastered by someone that's not Disney. An Ooh. internet cut. The... What do you call it there? He touches her, and he's got blood on his hands. Han had oh, blood really? on his hands. Yeah. I, oh, interesting. I I'll didn't take a even screenshot. Notice. Yeah. Uh, interesting. It's, it, uh, from her wound? Yes, from her wound. Right. Yeah, because okay. she gets shot, and he's like, she's like, it's not bad. Yeah. There's a guy behind them. Uh, it's a great callback to Empire. She opens up her poncho, and he, she's got a gun, and he goes, I love you. And she goes, I know. Yeah, it's great. It's a great, like... For those of you who thought like that line was shitty in the last movie, yes, like she wasn't. gets her revenge here in no, a way. But yeah, cool. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But also just like saying. finishes the circle. You it know, does. It's, it's, it's nice. nice. It's a great touch. Their um, mutual ball busting that would be all of their relationship until he's murdered by their child. Yeah. Well, <laughs> speaking of which, if I was fucking Kylo, I had to hear that story every fucking week. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's two. true. That would get. I would turn side. to the dark side awfully fucking quick. <laughs> well, the, what I want is the uh, the. The marriage story of uh, of Han and Leia because they do get divorced. Absolutely, right. little Kylo is there. There's He's... the great shot of like Han and Leia. They're trying to close that gate and they're looking at each other. <laughs> Man, that movie's a masterpiece. Every day I wake up and I wish you were dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Someone to smuggle with me. 
<laughs> there's uh, I, there, there's because the the whole thing is like she wants to live on Coruscant, but he wants to keep living mm. on the Millennium Falcon, right? In, yeah. in it's Corellia. Tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough to, to, to do yeah, the. He wants to go thing. back and live on Corellia. Yikes, <laughs> man! Fucking factory. Planet. He gets spaced Alan all does his first look. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you just uh, you got to do what you could do. Here's the thing: if you're not careful, she's gonna get all your weapons. <laughs> Come on, kid. You get older here. You can't get all the weapons. It's a uh, uh, hold on. Uh, you, your co-pilot is a Wookiee. That's not gonna look good in front of the judge. It's uh, <laughs> Wookiees and kids don't look good together. She's gonna be Alder ran to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, your kid grew up in Tatooine. <laughs> you got married in Tatooine. <laughs> You started a small business uh, company in Tatooine. Her job's in Tatooine. I, you're fucked. <laughs> anyway. You're fucked. So a, the ATSD piloted by Chewbacca, like they first think they're they're going to be destroyed Killed, yes. by this thing. And then it opens up. It's Chewbacca. And instead of Han Solo being like, oh, this is great. Like, he's just like, Chew, Chewie, get down here. She's injured. Yeah. <laughs> he's like chastising Oh, yeah, him. you fucking idiot. And then he's like, oh, wait, I got a better idea. Yeah. And then they blow the door with the ATST. Well, then they use the radio to get the guys oh, to come right. out. Oh, yes, which is like a great, backup. A great little trap there. I love that. Um, around here is when uh, Luke has started fighting with Darth Vader. Incredible lightsaber battle. It's here. a really good one. And again, man, I love some of the. Andrew Jupin's favorite Darth Vader lines are just James Earl Jones having to like react to a physical whatever. <laughs> and dude, when, when, <laughs> when Vader gets kicked down the stairs here, it is a oof. Ah. <laughs> I was laughing my I ass off. I think this might be the best lightsaber fight. Really? It's, it's incredible. Yeah. I think Empire is superior, personally. Really? Yeah. I mean, This one's like really aggressive. And especially... and we're not throwing fucking air conditioners at people. <laughs> yeah. That's true. When, when... I just think it's shot better, I will say. Sure. When Luke is just like hammering Vader oh, is what yes. I love, and he Dude, just cuts yeah. his hand off like an... And a hand for a hand. Oh, we should say earlier in the movie, Luke uh, on Jabba's barge gets shot in his robot hand. Yeah. Right. And he has to put a glove on it. I'm like, dude, just go to, you're at the rebellion anyway. Hey, can I, somebody look at this. Can I get a new robot hand? Oh, that's <laughs> gonna, you gotta call ahead for that. That's uh, like four to six weeks to fix that, brother. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be, yeah, uh, we're, I gotta go to, to different spots spaceport to get out. That's going to be, yeah, it's going to be expensive. Yeah, I'm going to be bankrupted by my robot hand. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, it's fake leather. I'm sorry. <laughs> but now, yeah, he's got the, the, the leather glove. Um, there's some... Uh, and th this is the thing also, like, Emperor... Play it cool. It's like, yes, kill your father. That way you'll be my fucking... It's like, no. I would be like, no, don't. That won't <laughs> lead you to the dark side. Don't do that at all. Like, he is so, like, obnoxiously transparent yes. about everything. You know what, dude? Just fucking shut up and let it play <laughs> out. Huh? Uh, you don't have to act like fucking Paul Bearer at the at ringside. <laughs> oh, Darth Vader. <laughs> uh, he does... Um, there's a great... Um, Luke hides in the throne room for a little bit. I guess there's enough space for him to hide. Again, dude, all of those barrels. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Vader is taunting him a bit here, and he's like, well, if you can't get you, we'll get your... Oh, sister, hello. Wait, I had twins? Nobody told me. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing that I was, I was wondering. I mean, in the dumb prequel, like, retcon of everything, he... Does know there's two kids or no? He does not. He does no. not. They don't. Well, oh, no, that? I think they know that, but then she dies, and he assumes that she's dead. I, yeah, he might have assumed that the children died too. I or, don't yeah. know if he knows about the twins. Oh, maybe there's just one child. I think yeah, he just thinks it's one child. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Which shows yeah. you how much of a force he's got. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, also he's yeah. been torturing Leia in a New Hope. Oh, guys, the, the dark what? side is not good for the baby monitor. <laughs> that that doesn't that force power doesn't work. The baby monitor, you want the lights. I've been saying that I shouldn't be using the force and no microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> when they lure uh, back on the on the moon, when they lure all the dudes out and they get caught or whatever, there is the fantastic shot of Harrison Ford. Kind of putting his arms up, yeah. like, what, who, me? Yeah. It's so fucking badass. Uh, and yes, they're wiring that to blow. Um, now, the the very mention that Leia will turn is what makes Luke go real ape shit. This is when he does start hammering him, yeah. and he kicks Just him, and he hacking away. And he, he lops his hand off, and that is when he's like, oh, wait, robot hand. Oh, robot hand. Oh, I don't want to be a robot. Another oh. hand decapitation in Star Wars. It happens Ooh. all the time. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, some people have things for feet. <laughs> With me, man, it's hand stuff. Which is like when people, when, when they revealed Kylo Ren's lightsaber and some people were like, what? What? Handle guards? It's like, fuck, you need them, too. Yeah, you need totally, those man. fucking lightsaber Seriously, hand guards. shit. I'd like to keep both of my hands. Thank you very much. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and that's when he's like, no, I'm not going to fight my father. You know what I mean? I'm, I am a Jedi like my father before me. And that's when, well, young Skywalker, you will die. And fucking Forest Lightning, dude, if you're in, it's 1983, this old fucker stands up and shoots purple lightning out of his head. Yeah. like, what the fuck? Oh, it's absolutely. Yeah. Yes. By the way, he he is like, he doesn't call him Skywalker. He very pointedly says Jedi. A young Jedi. And fine, you just want to be a Jedi then. Jedi, you want to be Jedi, you shall die yeah. as. It's fucking it's great. It's cool. And yeah, he's just smoking him with this fucking purple force lightning. But somehow, uh, with all the force lightning, Luke Skywalker doesn't turn into a fucking gelatinous whatever this shit. Great, yeah. co- great I point. I don't know. I mean, yeah. now... Uh, he, he doesn't short like fucking bursts. prune face at the end of it. Yeah. Short bursts. Oh, yeah, yeah maybe mean, that's right. Well, also because it's coming off of Mace Windu's lightsaber, is it not? Yeah, yes. he's blocking it and charging right, it right, back right. at him. So maybe, I, it's, maybe it's the purple lightsaber's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, uh, Ben... You really could have given me a heads up about the fucking lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Another one you dropped, Ben. And Wait, then, can I do that too or what? <laughs> Sending yeah. it to voicemail again, huh? Well, it was your <laughs> foolishness to not expect lightning, wasn't it? <laughs> well, you didn't ask. <laughs> well, uh, I did. T- I, actually, I never did not tell you about the lightning, so I did tell you about the lightning <laughs> from a certain <laughs> point of view. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> and now this shit's getting old. <laughs> Darth Vader is having that internal conflict of looking at, looking at Palpatine, looking at his son, and starting to have that this moment of redemption of he's gonna he's gonna pick up the Emperor. <laughs> but in your guy's cut, he goes no. Yeah, he does say something. In our version, he's, he's, he's it's, it's, the whole time. it's internal. Yes. In I'll, your I'll, version, oh, no! Well, it's no, not, it's not no! as bad as the Sith. No, it's yeah. just kind of like a no. But in your in the original version, doesn't uh, in the cats in the cradle and the silver <laughs> start? Yeah, that, that does start. Playing. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. I like that. I think that's a good choice. <laughs> I do love also the Emperor again. This guy and his fucking hubris. Because yeah, he's like. Five seconds ago, he's like, strike your father down, and you will be my new apprentice. And then, like, he starts killing him because he won't do that. And then, like, Vader's like, well, yeah, I'm going to kill you. Because yeah. fuck you, dude. Yeah. You what just the tried fuck? to kill me six seconds ago. Did you not think I, you know, didn't hear that? Yeah. I, I did hear. <laughs> did you not think I'd hear that or what? I thought, thought that was a tactic to <laughs> get his price down. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. It's a negotiation. It's all fluid here. Oh, now he falls down this shaft and explodes. Yeah, or what the fuck does, does he? We do get some cool Vader skull here as he's electrocuting. That is true. I like yeah, that part. Pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, he throws him down. Yeah, so this is my fan theory. So you see all this blue light go everywhere. And he's right near the forest moon of Andor. So what if in the next movie mm. it's like, rise, Kylo Ren. You're my full apprentice. Now, I have to let you know I look a little different. And an Ewok <laughs> comes out because he's like <laughs> taking the, he's oh. possessed an Ewok. Oh, fuck, dude. Now he's just a ghost that can jump bodies. Now it's like uh, Rise of Skywalker meets uh, uh, Jason Goes to Hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I just want him to be Ewok the whole time. <laughs> oh, no. So he's not transferring bodies like no, via he's, touch? No, he's just like a little Ewok with force lightning would be kind of cool. Ooh, that would oh, be amazing. Fuck, dude, that I, would be pretty sweet. I would like that. I would like that to happen in the new movies. I got, I've got two theories on the new movies kind of, while, while we're talking about it I'll, sure. I'll bring it up here we should say as we're recording this the 14th of December I mean we're days away from we seeing are this movie yeah. right? has it, it come Friday. out yet so we'll see if I'm right I'm positive I'm going to be wrong it, I'm seeing this Friday not Tuesday so if Eric's wrong and you want to tweet at me I'm do not seeing do that. it on I'm, Saturday so shh don't I might uninstall Twitter from my phone on like yeah. Thursday everybody's got everybody's got to shut the fuck up till the new year. Yeah, right? you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean. Exactly. Also, there's the holidays. There's a lot of stuff going mm-hmm. on. A lot of people got a lot of a lot exactly. of spinning plates. Yeah, exactly. Yep. We're we're living our lives. Every not everyone's going to the fucking movies all the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, my theory: S- Snoke as a failed Palpatine clone. Mm, okay, possible. Ray as a successful one. Ooh. Other theory: 
obviously Ben and Ben Solo and Ray are brother and sister sure. because in the old EU there were there were twins. Yeah, right, they're right. supposed to as be as well. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. possible. Those are my two theories. Those are the two out of that big box you just took out. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker it's not, theories. It's not, it's not enough time. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is just, just in case you keep keeping short home is Emperor Palpatine is an Ewok. So just we'll just we'll just see <laughs> who's cool. right. We'll just see who's right. Kevin, you got any fan theories? About my this fan upcoming? theories that bring back Emperor Palpatine is stupid as fucking shit. Yeah, yeah. kind of. I mean, it's really fucking it, stupid. In the, in we'll the, see where in it the goes, new but, uh, canon EU there are Sentinel droids, which is pretty cool. Where where, where it's like the last will like of, of the emperor. Like there's these droids with his faces pre-programmed before he died of what to do to carry out his final orders. So uh, I, I would be okay if he was just like a transcendence ghost or yeah. something, but, or for, force ghost maybe. Right, but it's, like, not, it's not confirmed by any of these trailers that he's an actual no. person. No, no. We, we, no we, we, corporeal, as you no. say. We know that he, he at least has some lines I just, The laughs in, in the trailer. Right. Yeah. And, I, and, and I just find that cheap. Like, to me, it's just yeah. really, really fucking Because well, they're going to tie it into, like, the whole Darth Plagueis the Wise. He learned how to live forever. Whatever the fuck. Quick question, gonna, uh, though. What if, as he fell down that chute... Uh oh, here comes fucking Jimmy Smith again in his fucking poop Hell car. Yeah. And he swoops him right in. Oh, yeah, he's like a zombie now. That's excellent being... timing. This and he puts on quite... sunglasses. <laughs> this is quite unexpected. <laughs> let's ride. Holy shit. If, if, let's say you're seated for Rise of Skywalker, and suddenly it's just like previously on and then it's like you see him like catch something <laughs> yeah. and like climb out like climb under an antenna and fall into a car <laughs> <laughs> uh can i say what my fan theory oh, yes, is of course that no matter what is contained in this movie uh-huh. no matter what is contained there is going to be a large swath of people on the internet that hate it uh, yeah well, of course <laughs> and, and here's the thing we don't know as of this recording on 12 14 we don't know what we're doing uh an on screen will probably be a bit a little late because the holidays so if you're like waiting for that it might be early Dece- early January of s- it might be an on screen could be something else we don't know yet because we haven't seen the movie it could be great could be bad I'm at least seeing it twice that's for sure no matter yeah. what happens oh, yeah. I'm seeing this movie twice I just know that by February uh-huh. I'm going to be quite tired of hearing about <laughs> how terrible this movie is sure yeah uh, after yeah with Mandalorian's been a lot of fun this is coming out I need I've been rewatching everything I kind of need a Star Wars break coming yep. up but yep. here's the thing what if it is terrible it could be terrible yeah. it and could then, be then, terrible then we, we be have good. something called the worst of 2019 coming up yep. dude. or you know you never know where you never know where this shit's gonna land is an it's FYI totally true uh so that old fucker gets thrown down that pit uh, he explodes in a bunch of force lightning, or not, I guess. Uh, yeah. uh, in 1983, he did. Luke, help me take this mask off. Man, I love this. Why are you but doing, Father, you'll die. Why are you doing this in Ozzy Davis remembering <laughs> Malcolm voice? <laughs> I remember the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, totally. Look, it's... <laughs> God damn it. He wants to see his son with his own eyes. And now uh, I'm team eyebrows on this guy. What are you, wait, what's, what's going on? <laughs> okay, they unmasked Darth Vader. And I'm he's team a eyes. Fuck, he's a fucking Humpty Dumpty. Yes. And uh, he's in, in the original version, he has eyebrows. In the version on Disney+, Plus, they digitally erase his eyebrows. Why? I didn't but, even notice that. Because yeah, they dude. got singed off in oh, okay. Return uh, oh, Revenge of the Sith. Makes, and I remember this was all written out years ago. Of he knew course. exactly what was going to happen, so well, he just forgot about the eyebrows one day. Well, wait a minute. So wait, this happened, and I didn't notice it at all, and they couldn't get rid of a fucking Henry Cavill mustache <laughs> and make it look seamless for fucking five seconds? That is a great call, Chris Kevin. And by the way, well, actually, wait. Is this a special edition thing, or is this like um, the... Other Blu-ray I think it's edits. Two thousand four change that then went on to the twenty eleven change. Two thousand and late is what it is. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it was in this. I think this. I think. But what the was spe- the two thousand four situation for? What they, DVDs? D- yeah, they yeah, just DVD, did a big no, no. DVD re- re-release and they changed a bunch of other stuff to make I it see. more. That that's where um, Hayden Christensen comes from at the end. Oh, of the film. so that okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I found this time around watching this, and he has the line like, "I want to see my son with my own eye." Like, I don't know, you guys. Something about it really got me this time. It's I was sad, like, "This yeah. is it's a beautiful moment. It's a nice, nice moment." And sad. And 
but this actor didn't know what he was hired for because all the secrecy was going on. Like he was hired on the day. He's like, all I know is it's got something to do with science fiction. They gave him the script and like, by the way, you're fucking Darth Vader. And he's like, excuse me? <laughs> Did he know what Star Wars was? He he, this he guy was like, I, I looked it up. He was like a English theater actor. He was friends with Ian McDiarmid. He's like, Ian, what are we up to today? Oh, like, oh weird. How was he fitting? really? Have you read yeah. the script? Oh, man. How fitting though, right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty pretty fucking cool. Anakin and but it was chief. only for this shot, right? Because yes, yeah. it was what's his face fucking running around and doing all the lightsaber. Well, yeah, uh, David Prowse and, yeah. or David Prowse's stunt double. Um, so it was just this dude laying down yeah, at, yes. uh, on and the then, little ramp. And the force ghost. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Right, and, right, right. And uh, I, fucking poor David Prowse, man, because they didn't even tell him there was going to be a faceless joke. Because they knew he would get pissed. Was, yeah. Like, oh, we're going to show Darth Vader's face. And he's like, right? And they're like, no. No, we need a <laughs> actor for that. Sorry. Yeah, you're the body. You're just a kind of a tall guy. <laughs> Thanks, though. Um, we only hired you to get around paying a union fee. <laughs> Lucas uh, is famous for that. It's shit. fucking yeah. nuts. Yeah. Actually, uh, Marsha hired him, <laughs> so oh he God. had to go. <laughs> he refilms every single instance of Darth Vader with another actor, despite Marsha. That's the true <laughs> Star Wars marriage story, dude. It's George Lucas oh, and Marsha. That, that you want to win an Oscar? Indeed. Make that movie. Yep, totally, dude. Get all the fucking people that made that George Lucas in love thing yes. twenty years ago. Oh right. Get them all back. George Lucas in divorce. You're fucking puppets. She like throws Celeste Crumb across the room. <laughs> oh, actually, that guy's. Uh, you just that was. Nine thousand dollars, Marsha. Sure, we're made of money, though. That's fine. I guess I'll just make another fucking blockbuster. Uh, you we are made of money. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> then a Randy Newman song comes. On. <laughs> All the money in the world, dude. George is getting divorced. The amount of money George Lucas has, Oof. just like billions, billions. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Like. He, he could, has so much money that you you gave away $4 billion. He could fix the Flint water crisis and not even bat an eye, mm -hmm. but he won't. No, no, none of these billionaires will. None not of them to single out George Lucas. No, no, none of them. They, they, they're just a, it's an ungodly yeah. amount of money. Yeah. No need for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no need for that kind of money. Um, no, there's not. So he dies, um, and Luke brings his body onto his his own uh, the, his own little shuttle there as he gets out. And then all of a sudden, you just hear John at the bar is a friend of mine. <laughs> this dude looks like Billy Joel now. <laughs> great. Uh, he burns. He goes down to Endor. He burns his father's body. Now here's the thing about the burning of the body here. Okay. You put the mask back on? <laughs> Is it so everyone else would know who was on fire? I think, like, I, when I'm watching this now, I'm like, shit, it would be so funny if, like, like a rebel commando comes by. It's like, oh, yeah, Darth Vader, right? Fuck you, Darth Vader. <laughs> Putting the finger at him, maybe taking a piss on his body. And he's like, that Luke's, Luke's trying to explain, like, no, 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 he, he, he was fine when he died. I fixed him. He was back to the good side. Burning yeah. that old piece of shit, remember, right? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. watch. Hey, you filming this? I'm going to take a dump on Darth Vader. <laughs> Corpse. Yo, dude, I just saw Luke Skywalker. Great fucking rebellion general. Awesome. He's sick. I, I got his trading card. He was crying at Darth Vader's funeral. Did you see that? <laughs> fucking traitor. What Did the fuck is that? that shit? Fuck that guy. I'm going to take a shit on his grave next. <laughs> I mean, I was always more of a Han person, personally. Oh, totally, man. Han's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what are you playing over there? You just getting some Star Wars music going? My favorite song in all of the world, oh. which gets which gets cut here. So, um, oh, by the way, Steve. So, what was the situation? Sorry to backtrack again, but you thought that Darth Vader's human head vanished. Yeah, what was I, that guess text I just last I night? think I just misremembered that. Yeah, I gotcha. Steve did this weird text about Darth Vader's head vanishing because he. I guess the light, the the good Jedi sure. vanish, right, the right. bad Jedi don't. Also, by the way, I mean we're at Vader's funeral, but uh, yeah, Lando and the boys fucking destroyed that Death Star. By the way, oh that's right, yes, yeah. oh yeah, of course, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeehaw, the Yeehaw, whole thing. which is great. Flying in there, flying in there is awesome, and it's one of it those things cool. that were like. The little X wings are in there, and it's like that makes total sense. Yes. It's like I get it, the Millennium Falcon, iconic ship for the rebellion. Yeah. It's fucking big, man. Even Billy D. Williams is like. A little tight in here. Yes. Huh? <laughs> like maybe leave that outside. But it is, it's still a cool moment. I, uh, the Darth Vader thing with him turning back <laughs> to the going good, on over there. Turning back to the, we're going to get there. When Darth Vader, like, is redeemed. Right. 
it's just such like a deathbed repentance. It's just like, oh, yeah, I'm good, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't I'm care. good. I said I'm sorry. That's right, dude. Who knew this, who, this whole time Darth Vader was a Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Joe Pesci gets wheeled by, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I think it's also part of it is like, again, like the FBI, like, he flipped on the biggest one, so he's cool now. You know what I mean? Sure, like, yeah. No matter, you can do whatever you want. If you provide them with the information to get the bigger fish, you're good to go. I mean, he just didn't live long enough to see himself eating salacious crumbs and uh, ketchup like a schnook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and then we get the fucking, the great celebration. Okay, now. Oh, we now finally got to hear the do, song. There you go. You can do it. Fireworks, now it won't work. Fireworks are going off. Oh, man. <laughs> what the <laughs> what? fuck, dude? <laughs> So in the uh, special edition changes, that I'm so while is, Steve, is that a Blake Shelton song? While Steve attempts to not fuck this up, I'll just say really quickly. <laughs> so we, Kevin and I, watch the Disney Plus 4K, right. and this is of course the whole thing where we're seeing the celebration across the galaxy. Word has spread that the Empire has fallen. It's all of these fucking cities we saw in the prequels. Naboo, Tatooine, Cloud City, Wherever and the Coruscant. Gungans are hanging out. What, yeah. uh, Naboo. Oh, they're on Naboo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do and think- Coruscant, the city planet, which was invented by the Star Wars EU that then George Lucas then went back and added. Say, that's edition. a good idea, you fucking nerds. I'm going to take that hey, one. Hey, Timothy Zahn, eat shit. Dude, man, that that guy deserves a, a slice of that $4 billion. Yes, absolutely. A, a very little, large slice. Yeah, Who's yeah. this dude? He wrote the Thrawn trilogy okay. after it was like the it's kind of like the books of the Star Wars EU, which is sure. and they're they're really good. And he, he invented Coruscant and uh, that became a setting for literally everything else made well, sense. It's vaguely like something I did, so it's mine. It's all well, mine. It was now. based off of Star Wars. Yeah, so I, mean, I was uh, smoking a joint with George Lucas, and I told him how to steal from people. <laughs> I was like, George, did you have the original idea? I'm like, yeah, but I, I had the original idea, but I there was all these other ideas that came after. If you had the original idea, you had all the ideas. Hey, bud, you planted the seed. <laughs> Stanley is a force ghost. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that steal, been, George, steal. Should have been at the end of Endgame, dude. <laughs> Do you have any right, idea sure. how much a lawsuit costs? You so, got a song? You got, what are you dude, doing? You know what, Steve? I think we're just going to have to cut for time, dude. <laughs> That's I don't, fine. Yeah, I don't we're, know we're what's done. going on with this phone. Yup, yup. It's happening. Dump, right, dump, it's happening. Yup, yup. It's happening? Or is, is it happening now? It's going to be a Towns Van Zandt what song. What is happening now is happening now. And you can watch Billy D. Williams start like clapping his hands to the song. He's feeling it. Oh, he absolutely. Is. Of course, who isn't? This is better than the weird orchestral thing they replaced it with. Which is in like, my opinion. It's like vaguely aping the melody of right. this. Right. Yeah, it's like it's like John Williams on a toilet phoning it <laughs> yeah, in. It's well, not quite Paul Simon, but you, it, no, it, this feels very Graceland <laughs> to yeah. me. This song, I will. Oh, say, maybe those uh, musicians who played on that song weren't paid either. <laughs> <laughs> They're, um, you know, who the song was written by? It was written by John Williams and John Williams' son, who is the lead singer of the band Toto. Oh, are you fucking kidding I me? I am not I didn't kidding. Know this. Like rains I, down in Africa, Toto. Yes. The yes. lead singer Toto. of that band is John Williams' son? Yes. I had no idea. Excuse me while I go let my head explode outside. I have fucking Africa on vinyl. Are you Why in the stained? world? <laughs> no, I'm not playing stained. God Steve, I am going to take that phone away from you until the <laughs> end of class. The, the man behind Rosanna himself? Yes. Rosanna is my favorite song of theirs, I think. That's incredible yeah. information. I, I, I learned too, yeah. that while I was like, oh, this song rules. Who wrote it? It's like John Williams and his son. I'm like, who's John Williams' son? What the fuck? Wow. Jesus. That's, wow. That's really Nepotism, insane. I'm shocked huh? right now. <laughs> I'm almost rendered speechless. Does that make up for all my phone fuck ups? Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. No, no, no. Not at all. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, so in the in the special edition the 4K thing that you see, I mean, they are they appear to be dancing to something, but it is this other fake I, song. Not, not just the song though, and I mean, I, I understand like the idea of like, oh, this is a big thing. The Empire is over. You want a bigger catharsis? I don't think you need one though. I kind of no. like the intimacy of the party. Like, no, exactly. It's all the people that did it. They're at a party. It's also like the Death Star and the machinations of man are secondary. You closed this gap with your father. Like yeah. that was the real 
Story. moment and the yeah. real catharsis. Nothing else really matters. And then it's, you know, we got all the teddy bears and we got some beer and weed here. Let's yeah, oh, for sure. Play, oh, dude. play a song. Dude, the hangovers the next day on Endor. That's the thing is I don't think it's a next day thing. I think it's the next week. I think we're just going. Oh, we yeah. are going for a couple of days. Yeah, totally, dude. Just like partying all night. You get wake that fucking up, Ewok wine, dude. That shit will fuck you up. <laughs> oh, my God. But you got to watch it, though. Dude. You can easily, like... Ewok wine is a thing you get alcohol poisoning way oh, quicker shit. than just regular like for sure, yeah. Earth booze. <laughs> it's made out of fermented stormtroopers. Oh, hey, these yeah. Ewoks are all right. Holy <laughs> shit! I can see my. I got forty fingers. Hey, Han, I got forty fingers. <laughs> Luke wakes up two nights later, rolls over. How you doing? Would you like some coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that makes sense. That yeah. Uh, also loved the and this detail is great but then when you think of how they came to get this detail it's even better so the the detail that's great is all these ewoks are dancing around one of them the percussionist oh of the i know it is seen clanking on a bunch of stormtrooper helmets yeah. great but then you think well how did we get these mm -hmm. well of course you took it off the dead stormtrooper <laughs> and to get the right you know melody and whatnot of course they have to be hollow but that means where are all those other corpse fires? Oh, for sure. They are burning or mm -hmm. eating these fucking for people. Sure. Oh, and that de you just play that story in your head. You can make it up as you go Hell along. Yeah. Hey, Luke, at the Ewok putty, did you eat Stormtrooper? <laughs> I got to be honest, I did. I, You know what? I was a little wasted. Uh, they handed me a sandwich. I didn't know what was in it. Lando Calrissian's favorite television show is Exotic Space Foods with <laughs> Andrew Zimmer. <laughs> and I've always wanted to try hey, Stormtrooper ribs. It was steak frites. I didn't ask where the steak came from. <laughs> Didn't ask about the freets either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are we are burning and eating stormtroopers. Of course we are. And we end the movie with a group photo, which is just kind of the best thing in the world. I sure. love it. It's love silly it. as all fuck, but it's kind of great. If you watch yeah. it, Billy D. Williams is still feeling the music. I posted it on Twitter. He's like, he's clapping. He's just having a good <laughs> See, old time. See, that's like, <laughs> I love it. They knew these movies at the heart were silly and, and fun. Yes. And so you end it silly and fun, not with like, and then the government collapses and the orchestra, oh, crescendo. Right, and that's what I think is very important to remember is the way that they ended on a hilarious, like, sitcom -y group photo. Yeah. Kind of the ultimate message of, like, hey, listen, guys, please don't take this shit too seriously. Yes. Yeah. Please, we're all just trying to have fun at the movies, man. Don't make this your religion. Mm -hmm. Please don't. You were looking, we're smiling at the camera, and, the, and that because all your friends are here, it's all over with. That's it. Uh, Don't take it seriously until I start the New Testament in uh, <laughs> the late nineties. <laughs> uh, but also, of course, Luke Skywalker leans up against a tree, has a oh, look really course. quickly, Ooh. and it's uh, Ben Kenobi, Yoda, and depending upon <laughs> which version you watched, there's either uh, his father who he just met or some dude who he does not know. <laughs> okay, so with, a, with a, an in sync haircut. <laughs> you're, you're for you're f like Kenobi and Yoda are Force ghosts at the age they died. Yeah, correct. And Anakin was in the original version at the age he died, and now he's just younger. Because, but then people will argue Anakin Skywalker died when he turned to the dark side. But I don't, I don't like it. But also uh, Sebastian Stan or whatever the fuck Shaw, <laughs> Sebastian Shaw, yeah. he has a full fucking head of hair. He does. Where did that come That's from? That's true. But yeah. He's, he's oh, not, I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah. wow. I, I, that's coming back to and me. And he doesn't have like a powdered face or whatever the fuck. I think that the idea, and that's why with the hair and he's not looking all, you know, white faced and whatnot, yeah. like he's in like some, you know, French play in the 1800s. Yeah. Like, I think it's a thing where it's like the notion is, and this is shared amongst other cultures as well. Like when you die, you know, if you're seen on the other side, you're like it's glorified, like glorified, like how you want to be remembered, yeah. your best self, that kind right, of a right. thing. You don't want to be like a, a charred little white Humpty Dumpty on crutches because <laughs> now you don't have your fucking robot. <laughs> what he deserves. I'm sorry. But also the weird thing is like he's kind of also like he's. A little thick as a dude, like so. Yeah, weird. So is he... Vader, dude. Well, that's what I mean. Well, yeah, I guess so. But well, like, you think that's robot pounds? <laughs> yeah, also the robot. The body. suit adds about five hundred pounds. I want to watch Darth Vader eat dinner. 
That's what I need right? to see. I bet, you know what, though? You say that now, as soon as that video starts playing, you're really grossed out and you stop. <laughs> it's <laughs> the two girls, one cup of Star oh, Wars. God. Hey, man, fuck, dude, on this hollow, on this hollow, the hologram, I got fucking Vader eating a Security steak. footage yeah. of Vader eating, dude, it leaked. Make you fucking puke. <laughs> Meanwhile, like uh, in any other planet, there's stormtroopers just like, hey, did you get a call? I, I can't get in touch with the emperor right now. I keep calling and it's like going straight to voicemail. Are we out of business? <laughs> <laughs> also, additional question. Now, are is everyone else just going to want to kill us? Yeah. Do we have to like hide these stormtrooper outfits in a closet somewhere? Pretend like we never were associated on certain planets. Yeah. I want to sell uh, this stormtrooper suit. Uh, I, I found it in the <laughs> desert. Um, yeah, exactly. Oh, and no, I killed the guy. That son of a bitch, that stormtrooper. <laughs> now let's all go to space, South America. Because, well, I mean, that's what Mando shows us when we go back to Tatooine is all the fucking bloody helmets yeah. on the pikes and right. whatnot. Yeah. You know, so like. I, I think some of those dudes got out of there sneakily. Other dudes got caught. Other dudes stayed loyal, and that was a huge mistake. I want to watch Werner Herzog clean out the safe with all that fucking basket steel or whatever the fuck he's getting. <laughs> like, oh, this is bad, but it'll be... I'll just need some money. <laughs> the Emperor's like throne it. room. Totally, dude. Take the money and run. Mm, that's what I would do. And that is the end of the Star Wars original trilogy, man. That's mm. that's what that wow. shit so is. So we have covered them all now. We have. It's uh, crazy. It is crazy. It holds up. Obviously. Yeah, it certainly yeah, it's holds up. I, I think we got to find the next uh, go round <laughs> of We Love Movies. We got to figure out another ending question here. Because if it up. makes the cut, it's got to hold up. It holds up more or less. But right? I think maybe this year we might play with movies that some of us love and others that's, don't. That's true. Sure. That's yeah, true. I guess that's true. So, Steve. But, but I do I do love this movie. Um, this was the one that I watched the most. I was, it, And it, it's really kid-friendly and not in a bad way. Um, so it, and it, I do think it's light on its feet a lot of the time. There is some heavy shit there, but, you know, but, like, I, overall, I just, it's, I, I love this movie. It's, it's, it is my, it's my third favorite of the, of the original trilogy, but it's, like, right there. Right there. It's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a bit long-winded. Pretty, pretty. Uh, it I, is a little long. I think you could cut the epi This episode or the, the movie? Either one. Uh, Go the, with what, the answer is both. Go with your gut. Um, eight minutes of it is me trying to play something on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. Sorry. At least it's not it a pay It was really episode. weird when Darth Vader started to try to play something on his phone. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, the, the going back and forth. The, I feel the Emperor negging Luke stuff gets a little tired after a while because it's the same conversation. Yes. It, yeah. um, it, and disagree. I, some of the stuff on the moon, I think, like, especially with, like, Oh, we beat them. No, we didn't. Oh, wait, now we're in. No, we're not. Like, yeah, that yeah. stuff, I'm like, you could cut a little bit there, and I think this would feel a little bit like the other two for me. But, uh, yeah, I don't have much against it other than that stuff. I think it's great. Uh, I really enjoy it. Every time I watch it, it really sucks me in. It might suck me in more than the other Star Wars movies, which I, you know, 77 and Empire, which I think are technically better movies, but this thing is watchable as fuck. It is, for sure. So check it out. So here's, this is going to be some shocking news. Oh, and these God. these lists and whatnot, you know, it's always fluid. Sure. Yeah. After this go-round of watching them all in the lead-up to Rise of Skywalker, of course, right now, December the 14th, 2019, somehow it worked its way in, in the magic of this movie it's my favorite one right now. I wow. knew it. It's it, and it's becoming and it's it's it's, it's understandable. It's, but it's it what, is no, it's, it's not. To I, what I Eric said, like it's 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 watchable as hell. But also, it's a thing where like these characters now are finally all at their fullest potential. In a Agreed. way, you know yeah. what I mean. So like the lightsaber battles are better because Luke is a better Jedi, mm -hmm. right? And like Solo and Billy D and all that stuff. Like they're strategically in the Rebel Alliance. They're big players, so they have more to do. It's more. It felt like better planned out to me all mm -hmm. that stuff like mm -hmm. there was just something about this watch around and i started watching it last night and it was like super late and i was falling asleep and whatever but i was watching it then and i was like what is what's happening right now yeah what, yeah. what is coming over me i was like i'm really liking this more than every other time i've watched and this the job a sequence is such a quintessential episode of these movies that's the when, thing when it goes down when the when the ship goes down or whatever last night i paused it to go to the bathroom and it was 
pretty much the exact episode of a length of Mando. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. Just like the timing of it. It's like 45 minutes of awesome. And that that whole sequence, and it's just like the Hoth sequence. Yes. Like when you break down these movies into little episodes of like potential like fake Star Wars TV shows that you yeah. make of yourself. Like it this one has it's so playable in that way. And I love all the shit on Endor. And I don't know, like for me right now, that's the it's it's probably now like a sliding scale. It's a three, two, one. In in one in like a watchability way, in like an importance way, like for me, seventy seven is the best, right? Yeah, so, but sure. yeah, but sure. as far as like just sitting down like a warm bath with Star Wars, oh, yeah. like this definitely. one this one nailed it for me this time. It's super really watchable. It. It's super, super watchable. I love it. And I think the people who think like they're cuddly teddy bears or whatever, like they are eating human flesh, Chris Cabin. That's not the problem. I'm saying that's not the problem. <laughs> what was the problem again? They have their hineys aren't clean. <laughs> yes, that, that was, was exactly. Chris it. Cabin, I, notorious hater of dingle. I can smell the shit through the screen. Uh, is yes, that what you that's, said? That's, oh, like Chris, Chris television. Watched, smell of vision. <laughs> that is Return of the Jedi from 1983, directed by Richard Marquand. Uh, and me. Hey, fuck that guy. Hey, you All know right. what? I just want to step in here for a second. That fucking Welsh son of a bitch. <laughs> he was apparently way more involved in this movie. I was because... getting a divorce. <laughs> well, he fired. Uh, what was his name? Gary Kurtz. Yes. Because 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 ESB... Colonel Kurtz got fired. Yeah, because e- well, because ESB went over budget and they had to do reshoots and stuff. So now he was more hands on. This. Oh. Kirshner fucked it up for everybody. <laughs> I had this plan, man. I was going to lay back. <laughs> Old not. Kirsch came in. Oh, la dee da. He makes the masterpiece, so he gets to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. For more Star Wars related content and otherwise, of course, visit our Patreon, patreon.com slash we hate movies. Yeah, and we've got a lot of good stuff this month. We've got a Glee Glossary on Uncle Owen and Aunt Peru. At the $8 level, we've got ourselves an episode on First Contract. If you're a st- Contact. Uh, contact if you're a Star Trek head. Um, you've also got a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeers. The holidays holidays are coming up a little right, bit. Right, that's Absolutely. the Animation Damnation at the $3 level, and that is like a major episode. That's like a 53-minute guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, question, just thinking about Star Wars and Christmas. We did a conversation about Life Day, the holiday special. We did, we did a thousand a years ago. I think that's in the archive, actually. Is it in the archive? I believe it is. Yeah, so, yeah, that's yes. at the $5 level in the archive, yeah. but... I'm going to revisit the holiday special any day now, and I'm excited as fuck. I've actually never seen it. You got to. Because I wasn't on that episode, and I never watched Oh, it. wow. That's how old that is? Yeah. You're still just the, doing three-person episodes? That's crazy, dude. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll, I'll say this much. Uh, we Love Movies Month continues on this main feed next week. Christmas uh, Eve, baby. Christmas Eve. What are we talking about, Steve? We're talking about Gremlins. Oh, that's right. There we go. Rat-tat-tat-tat. That, uh, like, I'll tell you, we recorded all of these December episodes, like, so out of order. Yeah. Gremlins feels like we recorded it at fucking Halloween. Like, I've got <laughs> no idea what's going on. Uh, but that's right. We are talking about Christmas classic Joe Dante's Gremlins next week. A uh, lot of fun, that conversation Absolutely. was, if I remember back to Halloween uh, correctly. <laughs> uh, so until next week, where the Gremlins are coming down the chimney, or uh, Phoebe Kate's dead dad, I'm Andrew Jupin. <laughs> Stephen Zeta. Chris Cabin. Eric Siska. Take it easy. That was a headgum podcast. <laughs>